Nah, I don't like it. You're right, I was not wearing my office glasses. Good looking out, chat. Uh, this I was kind of liking. Wait, 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 wait. There it is. Yeah, I like that. The plainest of plain shirts. It is, um, pink. I don't know if that, I don't know if that reads. All right, adding that to the playlist. If it was a plain white tee, there'd be something there. But, uh, <laughs> that's your read. I didn't see pink. No, 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 no. Don't railroad me now. I didn't see pink. <laughs> That's your read. <laughs> uh, Ulysses, thanks for being a 15 monther. Happy Friday. Also a hug for all Argentinians out there. Big Argentinian hug. Um, Luco's Picture House, thanks for being a 14 monther. Happy Friday back at you. And then Deadly Zebra, thanks for being a 27 monther. Happy third Twitch, baby, Kyle. Keeping you and keep up the great work you do. Thank you very much. Shabello, thanks for a gift and three gift subs. And Jabawabs, thank you for gifting 10 gift subs before we even uh, opened up, before the cam went live. Thank you big time. Is that your read guy the same as Godfather guy? No, so different. One has a, has a gentlemanly southern accent. The other one sounds kind of like Beetlejuice. Can I get an oh yeah for getting a promotion at work? Oh yeah, those are big ones. Oh yeah. How's chat getting all these promotions? <laughs> I've never heard of people getting a promotion outside of television. You know what I mean? It's like good news that happens to a character on a TV show. But like, uh, it's crazy to me that it happens in real life. Congratulations, for real. That's it's huge. It, I can't imagine to George Jetson. He's George Jetson was always wanting a promotion. Um, I can't imagine asking for one. I did once in my life, actually. You know, it's so stressful. So stressful. Congrats. Did I see that I was first in fantasy critic for a short while? Too bad it's still over unless Isla doesn't come. Do some easy pickups. No, that makes sense. So, uh, uh, immortality paid off big, but then a day later, uh, bomb rush cyberfunk was delayed out of the year. So yeah, it basically Don's dead. I'm dead. Basically it, it, we're, we're already, it's, there's a lot left to happen, but we're already basically locked into one, two, three. Um, this is September. Uh, no longer sponsored by Subway, unfortunately. I think that was just a really natural, uh, sponsorship. Oh, that's why you're saying you did those 10 gift subs. I got you. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like to use September to pressure, uh, new people into becoming subs. You know what I mean? Do that at your own comfort level. But like, if you're a consistent subscriber and you see yourself doing that for a few months at a time, it is a decent way to save money on, on multi-month subs. Um, and yes, we are drafting tomorrow. Tomorrow is the robot party fantasy football league. And so we're starting a half hour early. If you're not interested at that, in that pretend it's a normal 6 PM start time tomorrow. Just ignore it. Ignore what we're doing at five 30. Uh, we're going to draft the first few rounds on stream. And then I'm going to set it onto auto after that. But, uh, it's a bunch of people. It's, 14 people from the discord myself included um i have third pick which i'm pretty excited about we can talk about it tomorrow i have some plans for the third pick um already but it's going to depend on 
you know, the first two people, I, I don't assume they're going to play by the book. I don't assume this is going to be a by the books draft. So it's hard for me to make plans in the first place. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Can I get an Oya promotion? Sure, I'm a freelancer and can name myself whenever I want. Uh, You can get an Oya if you upped your rate. If you promise you have upped your rate, I'll give you an Oya. QB uh, Ichigo, thanks for being an 11 monther. Oh, did it work when I asked for a raise? That was, yeah, we kind of went over that on a stream a little while ago. That was back at Game Trailers when I said I'm heading out. <laughs> unless. I'm heading out unless. Um, Silent Consonant, thank you for uh, gifting five gift subs. Josh Allen with a third pick would be a laugh and a half, chat. You just don't do that. Local Luca, you have the second pick. Uh, so Maddie, our commish, wrote a really good guide on the Discord. I almost think we should, if Maddie's down for it, copy and paste that into the general fantasy thread because it's like really good advice. But it's kind of like the picks one and two just go to the same two guys regardless. Jojo Stenko, I'm so glad you updated on this because I've been thinking about this. My dent repair training program at the refrigerator factory was a huge success. Maybe I'm a fridge dent guru from here on out. Can I get an oh yeah? Yeah, I was thinking about you. Oh yeah. Who fixes dents in cars, chat. Here's what's happening. JoJo's Dent Co. is an actual company. You can Google it and you can get your dent fixed by JoJo's Dent Co. in Colorado, I believe. Uh, the idea that you went to a refrigerator factory to teach them how to get dents out of refrigerators. I've been thinking about it. It's such a delight. It's like, it's, it's a low-key premise for a movie because... You wouldn't think car dent culture is so separate from refrigerator dent culture, but also JoJo's Dent Co. loves anime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're in South Carolina now. My bad. My bad. I did not know that. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. So I just, I just loved this concept and you know, it's like, there's a, it's a montage, right? Of you teaching refrigerator work, factory workers, how to deal with their dents using your techniques. What a fascinating thing to imagine about. Yeah, it would be a montage, no doubt. Is JoJo's company name an anime reference? I, it is, yes. <laughs> unless we're not allowed to say, unless legally we're not allowed to say that, then no, that just happens to be somebody's name who works there. Just like Wendy's was named after Dave Thomas's niece, you know? I'm sure you got some nephew or niece named JoJo. Not liquid. Thanks for being a 23 month or almost two years. Almost there. Almost time for your sloth to digivolve. I'm too small to matter to the anime lawyers. Never doubt the anime lawyers. But Jojo is a frequent name. You thought it was his daughter. I believe it's niece. I believe it's niece. I would feel so ashamed as as a Dave Thomas historian. Oh my god. Thomas named the restaurant after his fourth child, Melinda Lou Wendy Thomas. Melinda Lou Thomas, and you name her Wendy?
Thomas wrote that he regretted naming the restaurant after his daughter because once it became a fast food empire, she lost some of her privacy. Her name is Melinda Lou. She's fine. <laughs> Damn it, Dad! Now everybody's gonna know I'm the restaurant lady! Just... <laughs> you have two other names, it's okay. It's okay. Tiebreaker, thanks for being a two-monther. Is the logo supposed to be Pippi Longstocking? No, there's a time where just, you know... Girls looked like that. Legacy preserved. Anyone been playing Digimon Survive? I think we have some Digimon Survive players in chat, no doubt. I see chat digging it. Legend of Sky, thanks for being a 21 mother. I cannot believe it. What's the it item at Wendy's? Uh, the Baconator. Uh, no, I don't, I don't, so the coffee, I just like, I like these containers. I don't go out and buy the, like, a cup of this at a time. I just like these containers a lot. Esther, thanks for being a 27 month -er. Hello, back at ya. Okay, so what I'm saying is, is that it's a lot like the Silent Hill director, who's like, God, I wish I never made Pyramid Head, and then uses Pyramid Head at his, his Twitter icon. Like, Wendy could have, at any point, said, okay, I'm Melinda Lou, you know? Janice, thank you for gifting 13 gift subs. We've been through Kyle's Wasteful Coffee Ritual. That's correct. That's correct. Uh, Shall we shift into... The video game. I've been thinking about, uh, like, re uh, beginning every Friday, like, replaying delayed input. Just so we're all on the same page, you know? So I don't have to, like... I feel like frequently I'm like, you should check out this week's episode. It's about this and this and this. But I also feel like that would be so redundant to a lot of this audience. I'm 50-50 on it. I don't know if that would be a fun Friday thing or not. I absolutely always forget. Yeah, maybe we do it. And I mean, they're short, right? You know what I mean? It is 10 minutes and you're like, oh my God. You can just, you know, go to the bathroom for 10 minutes and come back. When is the sloth purple? Good question. I think you, it looks like you got a purple sloth. Just don't cannibalize your views. It would be cannibalizing the views, but I feel like, you know, it, it, it would add to the stream. You called Grafii a lemur. It's an eye eye. Yeah, eye eyes are lemurs, bro. Look at those hands. Didn't I want to go over September earlier? I do. I still do. I don't have everything locked in yet. I don't have everything locked in yet. Um, the VTuber stream will be the highlight of September. But yeah, as somebody mentioned earlier, I still want to um, get back into baseball. I want to do a, a tournament. I want, might want to do two tournaments. And uh, Elden Ring, we got to squeeze in. I got to get that platinum in Elden Ring. And then obviously we got to find a spot for... Um, barnyard so yeah i got it like f september is like a little bit of work to figure it out the ii -I is a four-fingered lemur yeah why don't you just google it before correcting me why why wouldn't you just like look at the first result on google snug mode thanks for being a 27 monther beef master and gv tuber well we can't do we can't do that Did I see there was some extra Tome content? Yeah, a little, little expansion coming to Tome. A new island to explore. I'm really looking forward to that, actually.
pretty cool. Um, I gotta show you something weird. Here I am at the homepage of my PlayStation 5, right? Where you get all of the latest on, you know, the games that you own. And like, yeah, like, you know, Battle Operation, I always get the weekly update. But look at this with me. Why are they advertising this? This is so weird. This is not new DLC. It's a 14 second trailer that ends abruptly. No, not even spoilers. I feel like this was like something that they programmed to drop, you know, like in the weeks after Elden Ring and then somebody just like slipped on the date. Somebody, like, added six months for no reason. You want to watch this? I love watching these. This is a hefty Gundam. I have no idea what series it's from. He looks like the ones that start Zeta, but he's just so chunky. This, this three shield business is so cool. Did I watch Witch of Mercury Prologue? No. Is that something I can just, like, watch? What's that on? You playing Evolution. No. What is Evolution? Uh, this will be tomorrow. We got it downloaded, though. It's locked in. <laughs> Little sneak peek at a grab bag, potentially. But it's Tinykin time. Oh, Gundam Overwatch. No, I'm not going to be playing that. I'm going to be skipping that, no doubt. Oh, the Gundam thing's on YouTube. Nice, nice, nice. Ages. My Order of No Quarter. Thanks for being a brand new sub. Life, the home planet of humanity, according to what they teach in school. Nowadays, I'm the one teaching. I'm Maladin, an archaeologist and researcher in the most prestigious university in the world. And this is Nevis, my assistant. <laughs> I've studied relics, artifacts, and fossils, and my conclusion is clear. Humans do not originate from Aegis, but somewhere else. Our true home planet awaits us, far beyond the stars. During my research, I came across an ancient signal, clearly of human origin. This is the kind of, that's the skip I don't galaxy. like seeing. Let me enjoy this cutscene. Since that discovery, I've been preparing to go and meet the originator of the signal. We've explored each planet from pole to pole, and now we found it. It's decided. Nevis and I will go to this mysterious planet to uncover the secret of humanity's origins. Also, uh, wild. There was no title screen, man. We're just in it, right? I kind of what I'm realizing is I like the ritual of a title screen. Playing this right now, so I can't stay, but I love the streams. I'm normally a YouTube viewer. Thanks, Order of No Quarter. Clearly a Shovel Knight fan. Thanks for hopping in. Um, I like I kind of like the comfort of like being prepared to start a game. You know what I mean? Title screens remind me to check options. Yeah, as a streamer, I always like to check the options first. Did he sneak in? He got straight to business, bro. That's what he does. He like sneaks in and he pretends like he's been here for an hour. <laughs> How long you been here? <laughs> You're a sweet cat, bro. That's a sweet cat. Did I see Matt Piscatella's love in this game? No. I follow him because of your old recommendation. Um, yeah, he's a fun follow. A lot of baseball talk, but when it's when it's uh, NPD time, he goes off. 
Has Mucho gotten used to late night Thursdays? Honestly, uh, my sleep schedule is not fully recovered still. Where I'm, I'm like, I'm staying up till sunrise on the regular. Not too much to get accustomed to on Thursday. The mandibles atrophied. Okay, so you can see quite immediately why I was interested in this video game. I do love being tiny in a human environment. We got that low camera angle. We got control of the camera. This is nice. Grounded is a bit too much backyard. If Grounded was somebody's living room, it, I would have a different feeling about it. I guess they couldn't drop as many spiders on you. But yeah, that's kind of my vibe with Grounded. TB Robo was uh, one of my life's greatest disappointments. A game I expected to love tremendously. Ooh, ah, uh, no. No camera shake for chat. No vibration for bossy. Uh, camera rotation speed is actually really nice right now. Great. Soap board, R1. Well, that's cool. Alright, let's do the tutorials. Yeah, we got that. Love the bubble. You got a bubble high. Hey, Rammers. Yeah, I dig this environment, bro. And these are the tiny kin, the Pikmin. <laughs> or perhaps are we the tiny kin? We came here to discover the origins of human life, which obviously didn't start on Aegis. Uh, so actually what I need to get used to is like that, that. Yep, 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 yep. You just double tap it really quick. So I already lost one of my babies? No, it's right here with us. Okay. So at one point, humanity left Earth to go to Aegis and shrunk. Do I like Katamari's environments or are they too novelty for you? I don't like the rush. Katamari is not about leisurely exploration. Can I get an oh no for having my car hit Wednesday night just to be told by insurance it'll be a 50-50? Yeah. Oh no! Calendar on the floor says 1991. Okay, our first hint. Okay, so those things are the tiny kin.
The game looks great, huh? So happy stuff like this can exist. It feels like big budget indie to me, you know? And kind of snappy. Pretty tight. I expect, uh, like, platforming challenges based off of how it feels to control this character. Now that we're in September, is Elden Ring still your goatee? Yes. L2, R2 to throw. Great. Okay, so this is exactly like Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> Do you remember we played that? Did you, chat, were you there for the Hotel Transylvania stream? That was also strangely a Pikmin like. Is Arceus in top five? Uh, for now, there's no way. There's no way Arceus ends the year in the top five. I bet, I bet, um, Violet and Scarlet will, uh, surpass it, actually. One Piece still happening. God of War is still happening. Tinykin. <laughs> uh, tomorrow's going to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Is One Piece still happening? Getting kind of late with no date. For sure, but it is still like showing up at shows, which I think is encouraging. Stray. Yep, you know what? I'd put Stray way above Arceus. Stray's my number two for the year right now. Yeah, God of War is gonna be wild, man. I feel like it will be easy to compare God of War and Elden Ring. You know what I mean? Uh, they are obviously super different games, but you'll know. You'll know in your heart which one you like more. No interest in actually playing Immortality? I would take some more recommendations from chat before I hop in. I don't think you'd like it. That's what I'm saying is I think chat would know. Chat will know. And I think I'd get frustrated with that game. You know how I handle puzzles that are obtuse, you know? Any interest in the Outbound Ghost, the Bug Fables esque ghost game coming out late this month? Um. I might be thinking of the wrong one. It depends on the style, really, for me. It depends on the visual style. There was one I saw recently where the characters looked like, um. A very, like, intentional, like, 1950s, like rounded face and like eerie grins on every single character and I'm like I can't handle these grins
Rogue Legacy 2 as a contender is really cool, Vostal. I never gave it a shot. I just watched Huber stream it a bunch. Okay, let's look at let's look at the art. Here we go. Here we go. Oh no, this is this is way different. I didn't realize that's coming out this month. Maybe we'll check it out. It'll definitely depend on uh, observations from it. Inscription is something else entirely. It's funny, pandemonium, normally I hate that. This I so we're talking about Elden Ring right here, right? This idea of repeating seemingly important enemies in entirely unimportant scenarios. Normally, yeah, that does absolutely diminish what felt like a huge boss fight. Uh I'd say that Elden Ring does a good job of preserving the 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 big boys. Well, nah, sometimes even like a big boy who is super meaningful to the story will just show up in a jail. <laughs> yeah, I guess I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's uh for me it's uh, like an exception I'll allow because you can't program an original boss just for this little nook of the map, but it's so cool to, you know, find a boss in a little nook of the map. Horizon Forbidden West about to get left behind in the discussion. No doubt. I think Forbidden West is maybe visually still the best looking game I played all year. But you know what? Like, even if we're talking about the story, the adventure, I don't have a lot of positive things to say about it. Cassette Beast at Game Gamescom is something you tried? That's like, it's like a Pokemon game, right? Where your monsters come out of tapes. It's a big game. It didn't need to repeat anything. You didn't you didn't need to repeat anything. That's on you. You you chose to go fight that thing. Similar to Stray, the eleven person team for this game also mostly comprised of former Ubisoft devs. I'm so happy for them, man. I'm thinking of Sakurai's video, right? Where he's like, don't become a game developer, it sucks. <laughs> you gotta work for bosses you hate, and you gotta you gotta animate shambling zombies all day long, and that's just how it is. And so it's nice to hear, like, these Ubisoft developers who went through their time of shambling zombies and are just like, now let's make something we love. Let's do it. Let's make something we love. Come on. I'm hiring up. Let's get out of here. Did I see the new Pokemon, Kyle? Any thoughts? My thoughts are on this. This is why we got to do delayed input screenings. I talk about it on delayed input. The The title of this week's episode is The Good Kind of Pokemon Spoiler. So my, my, I like it. The truth is I like it. Indie development doesn't seem anywhere near as miserable as AAA development. Miserable in different ways. If I have four children and one of them is named Wendy, I'll go grind. I'll go grind. You know what I mean? I'll go. I'll go to the office and I'll you know do any shambling zombie. Cool. God, that's such a cool idea. I'm uh, so okay. So uh, my assumption right now is that it's going to be like sliding in Mario Sunshine. Not adorable. Oh no, it's just infinite. 
It actually just builds momentum. You could just like do this and then, oh, wow. That's nice, dude. They just wanted to make some quick traversal. Look at these straws. Come on, let's get out of here. Come on, I'm sick of Tom Clancy shit. Come work for me. We're gonna make something cool. <laughs> Sorry, man, I got four kids. Okay, okay, we, we understand, we understand. Thanks for considering. Coleman, thanks for being a 27 monther. Better or worse than roller skates and Mega Man Legends? Honestly, a nice part about the roller skates and Mega Man Legends is you gotta work for it. You know what I mean? These were handed to us. But look at the control that we have over this. It's just nice. Reminds me of a little big planet one. We're gonna make some spirits. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so cool. That's really cool. So weird. I almost downloaded Jack 2. I got the Jack and Daxter collection. I played through the entirety of Jack 1, platinumed it. Uh. And then starting Jack 2 was such a bummer right after that, because I liked that game so much. But now I've come around, and someday I think I want to try out Jack 2 and 3. What's the best moment in a game this year? One instance that made your jaw drop. That's the thing, um, it's Elden Ring. It would be... There's just so many times. There's so many times where... The scenery of Elden Ring took me in. Or a big scary boss. Nothing like, nothing like... <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> nothing quite like that. Nothing quite like that. The city in Stray, for sure. For sure. That was a jaw dropper. The end of Lake Ophelia. Gosh, if we're if we're gonna do like a to, like a, a moments of the year, the crack belongs in there, no doubt. Quintus? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if Quintus gets the honor. I mean, yeah, that game was full of moments, though, dude. You can't deny it. Cool. So we're going to be filling up this village, basically, with more hairy ants. Very cool. This is our hub. It's cool, man. I feel like, uh, you gotta make a choice, right? And I feel like this is the proper fidelity for what this game is.
If you spent more time on these mysterious pills that you would take once a day. If you spent more time on these little pads, that toothbrush, you're spending too much time. Eddie Kaylee, thanks for being a 17 monther. Oh! Okay. Playing this on the PS5, correct? Love the character standing still, but it's weird that it's walking backwards. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Is that like... It's really hard to get... 3D models that look as good as these 2D models, you know what I mean? It's a compromise you make. I think it was worth it. The tiny kin are uh, much less annoying than Pikmin. I was thinking about how much of a struggle it would have been to bring back that Pikmin I just missed, you know? Um, oh, right here. Now! Uh, do we want to keep exploring this environment, or do we just have faith that we'll be back, is the question posed to the player. If I saw more wires, I would feel more confident about hanging out here. But for now, I think we'll leave. I think we'll be back later. There's a lot of cool shit we haven't interacted with yet. We'll be back. Dark Forest, six man, 27 month -er. I hate working nights, can't watch live anymore. And also working nights is brutal. 2D artists for this game worked at both Disney and Cartoon Network. Nice. New AAA TMNT game coming in 2023 according to a story in a toy magazine featuring Paramount consumer products and experiences. What more can you tell us about that? I saw the headline before we went live. Are they assembling a team? Nickelodeon? These are great designs, dude. Look at this creature design. A man named Babs. Thanks for being an eight-monther. Caught up with a Tony Hawk VOD over the week. Rooting for Slish. Me too. It's, uh, I do, I do think that Tony Hawk's Underground had more of a campaign where you're really rooting for your character more. But, uh... The stuff that we put together, the, the lore that we assemble for Slish is still, you know, a driving factor. Wonder who the dev is. If it's 2023, it must be in development now. Right, or else it's not AAA. <laughs> it's one or the other, right? I imagine rain. I imagine the trailer's got alleyways and rain. It's nighttime. Platinum again, but this time it's a gas like Babylon's Fall. That's rude. I would have loved to play Babylon's Fall this week.
Wow. Okay, we got another year. That seems like 1993. Um, it does seem like the humans are gone. Not just from this house, but potentially from this whole planet. I love their design, dude. I love them. Okay, so reds are explosive rabbits. They don't come back. Shoot, I actually thought, I thought they would explode and then show up right again behind me. They really just die. Saluting the red tide again. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the shit I'm into, dude. <laughs> this is so cool. So how would I swap which tiny kin I want? Whoa. Yeah, baby. I have, yeah, yeah. I realize I have red selected. I'm just curious. Hey. Does it just auto pick? Oh, the selection is context sensitive. That's interesting. And ultra convenient. <laughs> cool. Miyamoto would never. Auto selecting Pikmin? He wouldn't allow it. <laughs> Not on my watch. Uh, do we have enough to destroy this? We have enough to lift this. 25? We do not. And so then I would press triangle to call them back. Cool. 
Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Climb together. Loop them in. Great. This is very good shit so far. <laughs> Sorry, Reds, you were expendable. Did I ever stream Pikmin? I can't think of a single time I streamed Pikmin. Unless Hotel Transylvania counts. I hear you with It Takes Two vibes. So It Takes Two, I think. Uh, talking about how, like, I think this game has the perfect graphical fidelity. It Takes Two goes hard on, like, realistic environments, which is its own thing. It, I mean, obviously, that game looks great, too. I think if this game spent another five years in development trying to look like It Takes Two, it would have been wasted time, you know? But for sure, there's a lot of uh, natural similarity similarities. God, it's so fun to hop around this world. It's just tight. Surprisingly tight. We'll get your, uh, we'll get your hotel hopping again. Whoa. I'm not even ready to take that yet. I'll be back. I'll be back. I just saw it. I saw it and it distracted me. There are more leaves on top of this plant. Still cannot believe what happened with It Takes Two winning Best Family Game. Clearly not a game for kids to play with parents. Yeah, I feel like... Some judges were like, I heard this game's good. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Obviously, I don't know what goes on in the minds of voters, but like that's a, that was a wild choice. It is a game about family. Maybe there was some miscommunication there. I doubt it. I'm going to guess the instructions were explicit. Just a bench. Can't tell you how happy I am, I am to be here. This is so cool. It's 
So it actually looks like uh, that hotel that we were on the top of is kind of like the grand finale of this level. Looks like we got to get that running to in order to play our CD. Excellent level design. Um, I still don't quite know. Oh, yeah, you know what? That would have been easy to get to if I climbed onto the roof of that hotel. Okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll get there eventually. Building shortcuts. In fact, before we progress there, let's... Uh... Cute. Really cool. I like that, you know, they didn't give you a number, but also you didn't expend those pinks. <laughs> Fun. Did Arcade Paradise show up on your radar? It did. Uh, but then, um, Huber streamed a ton of it. And so I got to soak in a lot of that game from Huber. I think eventually it would have gotten tiring for me. The grind of the game. Ooh. We just picked up something for a quest. You know, the laundromat business. But um, it was really fun to watch him play it. Very cool game. Shall we? We barely explored the floor. Let's get that one too, now that we know how to do these. Do I listen to the podcast of Frame Trap? I've not listened to a Bradley Ellis era Frame Trap yet, actually. I'm due for one of those. Taco Mambo, thanks for gifting 10 gift subs. And I believe an 11th on top of that? <laughs> Why 11? I appreciate it immensely. There's a trophy for doing this. Nice. Good looking out, chat. Oh, you can even move around in first person. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, that tag seems interesting, right? But I believe that's just the people who are scared of the monster. I would think that that's where I take my letter to, but I don't know if we're there yet. But it seems like they're content to just carry the letter. No rush on that. Is the Weird Al movie a yay or nay for me? Honestly, I don't think it's going to be that good. <laughs> oh. Two full bubbles. I don't believe I have two full bubbles. Um, it bums me out that it, it's like, it's the kind of funny, sorry, the funnier die sketch that they already shot. I would love a movie where it's just Daniel Radcliffe being Weird Al. I'd love a sincere version of that movie. Do you know what I mean? I 
wonder what that did for us. Oh, we're going to be dragging something across here. Sure. It's really cool that these bugs learned how to use the alcohol. <laughs> this is awesome. That's really cool. figured it out. Shoot, dude. This level is enormous. It's just the first level. I might want to do some exploration of the ground floor to uh, build up our army. Before we further explore that way. Wow. Using up a lot of my reds for this nectar. stuff. We're in a cat tree right now. This is sweet. We're gonna play the piano, no doubt. The little iron pluckable instrument was playable. That little xylophone was playable. The piano will no doubt make noise. Oh no. Okay, lesson learned. This whole level was the demo, that's wild. But I guess you'd be sold, right? If you gave me this whole thing to explore, I'd say, okay, I'll be there day one. But now all the notes will sound weird. Sustained. I actually have no idea what the three different pedals on a piano do. Right? One holds it, makes the notes held for longer. But, like, then what do the other two do? One muffles. Oh, interesting. Dampen, sustain, and one just hold the setting in place. Oh, okay, cool. So you would like hold down sustain and then like lock it in with the third pedal. Uh, I will say I'm overwhelmed by the amount of NPCs. That's why I stopped talking to them. <laughs> it's 
stupid chat. I was genuinely interested in what the three petals do. And you give me a litany of Reddit quality comments, jokes, snide remarks. on what the third pedal does. <laughs> yeah, of, of the problem is eventually we will need to talk to NPCs to figure out who needs this tuner. Where are you taking it, buddies? This is such a cool interior, man. Okay. Uh, you're relieved. Oh, I cannot relieve them. They're really just stuck there now. Okay, okay. What do we think this object is? Oh, cool. It is. A, it's like a stick for one of these little, like, duck, 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 instruments. Cool. Neat. It was really just a, a thing to do. I'm going to say Tinykin beats Hotel Transylvania. Three. By the way, it was Hotel Transylvania 3. I haven't played the new Hotel Transylvania game yet. We're saving that for October. But, like, Tinykin might beat Pikmin. It's time to face the facts, Max. So we're back at the beginning of a level on that side. Nice. All right, so let's pick up our side quests from this chatterbox. Okay. That's actually an MSQ. So cool, dude. Going into the guitar? Where you set up a restaurant? My god, dude. There's a band playing in here?
They're using the like little martini swords. Little banjo trio, dude. It's awesome. I ever played Overlord? I've never played an Overlord game, actually. That's like you got minions in Overlord, right? All right, let's talk to that chatterbox. It seems if they jump and yell at you, they have something important to say. So we're actually not heavy enough to weigh down the keys of the piano. I was positive. However, it does seem like we're going to replace that black key. And I think when we do, we're, we'll, we'll hear a tune. Can I get the Oya oh yeah, for finishing Banjo Kazooie? I promised. I promised you would not get it until you finished it. Yep, here you go. Oh yeah. I don't remember enjoying the final sequence of that game too much. Excellent game, rough ending. When's the Overwatch 2 stream? Not happening. If I'm not playing Gundam Overwatch, that's what I wanted to do. I'm not playing regular Overwatch. Oh yeah, I totally forgot that I have a little skateboard. That was a big drop. We gotta find uh, a spool. Drop some rope. Yeah. Cannot believe this environmental design. Off the charts, dude. All right, still no noise from that. I don't quite understand what uh, trapped the little ones in the first place. where they'd be all sewn up and have matches stuck to them. So if Microsoft cleans up Activision, will it be okay to play their games again? It's always personal choice, you know what I mean? It's always up to every individual to choose. Microsoft cleans up a Hectivision. I think they could. I don't think it's impossible. Huh. There's our jar. 
Hey, tiny game. This game is so cool. So yeah, I think uh, I think we're going to go to that restaurant and learn how to get into the piano. I don't think I can do it right now. We'll figure it out. I'm cool with fi following the uh, main story path right now. Oops, I could have. We should take that. Chad, I don't think the problems that 343 are having are comparable to Activision's Activision Blizzard's issues. We got it. they go. Active Blizz is culture. 343 is talent. Okay. Uh. <laughs> All right. But okay. So there is, there's talent involved. Oh, that's our black key. That's so funny. There is talent involved in management. I'm not prepared to call anyone on the Halo Infinite development team untalented. Except for the writers. That's what we needed. Say that tongue in cheek, chat. Obviously, I hated the Halo Infinite story, but on a, on a game of that size, even the writers only have so much control over what they get to write, you know? Sometimes you're a, a writer who loves cute shit and you gotta write about shambling zombies. And you're right, somebody came up with the name Tremonius. <laughs> For that, I am grateful. It's really cool inside of this piano. I don't know, I play Halo Infinite about once a week and some friends do. Yeah, one of my friends, one of my close friends is still playing Halo Infinite. Regularly. And obviously, I'm in a position of no judgment as a regular Marvel's Avengers player. But. Alright, so a chat. The, the, why chat is instigating 343 today is that they made their Season 3 announcement, which is that it's coming out. It, season 3 is delayed of the game. Uh, split screen co-op has just been cancelled outright. It, the Halo Infinite will just never have split screen co-op. And Forge will be launching in November, but you won't be able to share maps publicly until Season 3 in 2023. So they're just still way behind the eight ball. And 
and there's a certain level of, you know, COVID understanding when the game launches. It's like, yeah, man, you had to make that shit during COVID. We understand. We get it. Don't worry about it. But at a certain point, you gotta wonder. When is it, when is it like out of control? When is it like, hey man, you should have this shit together by now, you know? Master Chief Collection bugs are unforgivable? I thought, I thought Master Chief Collection is straight now. I thought we're over that. Do you hear a weird bug noise too? Sleep sounds. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So it's a little snoring. I could not tell if that was just a noise in my headset. <laughs> what has this done to Halo's franchise score? Give me the golden coin. You might figure out what to do with it. So nice. Thank you, buddy. I actually think that, like, they've lost a full point. Between Halo Infinite kind of dropping off post-release and the show, I feel like Halo is worth l less today than it was a year ago. Which is, I think it's still obviously, you know, a massive franchise that anybody would be lucky to own and work for. But, like, it, I feel like that's, like, a practical fact. How was the show never watched? I never I watched either. Chat just tells me it had good sex scenes, but then everything else was kind of unremarkable. Master Cheeks. Master Cheeks is fine. We'll allow it. Tremonius wasn't in season one, but his time will come. <laughs> uh, maybe we can climb that vine? Hmm, we cannot. Alright, so we'll find a way up there. Oh, that recliner. Angry Joe said that 50 times in his review. Master Cheeks? In his review of the Halo series? Alright. Sounds like you're peddling off an a tired joke to me now, chat. I I was amused by it. You had me. Yeah, we're doing great on our gold nugget collection, you're right. At first I was like, a thousand? Come on, man, but we're doing fine. You had me amused.
love uh, stringing out those connectors. Okay, so obviously there's more than a thousand. I think you just get something if you get to a thousand, right? Oh, I see. We need to put the nose onto the Sphinx. Cool. We will do that. Oh my god. And the way the Tinykin just hop with you, you, you don't have to... There's no stress. Tinykin is zero stress. Miyamoto would never. <laughs> there would be a setting sun and a bunch of, like, Glorborbs who are just eating them behind me. You know what? I could have, instead of dropping down there, I just could have tossed three Tinykin. Let's get more in the habit of that. Optimization. Um, I, eventually that got, they got rid of the timers in Pikmin. It's only Pikmin 1 that is really stressful with your, uh... Limited amount of days. If you spend too many days in the world of Pikmin 1, the game just ends. But, at the same time, Pikmin 1 is my favorite. There's our nose. Uh, the time constraint is stressful, but it also provides incredible context and, you know, meaning to each day. What a cool game. Yeah, okay. So we've hit, we've hit our thousand. We've satisfied the top hat ant. But there's so much more to see. Yeah, I'm loving this video game. This is 100% my shit. You want a screwdriver. And you want a baby bottle pop. No, that's not a baby bottle. A ring pop. A ring pop, excuse me. Baby bottle pop, <laughs> baby bottle pop. <laughs> uh, we probably have enough pinks to uh, lift the camera by now. Uh, I can't remember much of the ring pop commercials. I feel like it's like, got the ring pop. I feel, I feel like it's just like that. Like they do a lot of like, you got a ring pop too. That kind of, I don't know. That's just the vibe I'm getting. Ring Pop never had an iconic theme song. Very cool. I love this game. They really just let us uh, tackle this level any way we wanted to, too. The beast is loose. Oh, it's just a stuffed animal. Cute. There's gotta be something behind these types. 
There's got to be something behind these tapes. No way you're just going to stack a bunch of tapes like that. That's wild. What would it mean? Huh. Okay. I accept these terms. Okay, so we're going to drag the camera over here. And then photograph the evidence of the beast. rough man i don't know if i could love this game more <laughs> this is really good hey there we go one more i'm so glad they don't belong to individual npcs just bring the letters to the post office nice and easy See what I mean? What, I don't know if it, I don't know if it communicates if you don't hold the controller, but it it just feels so snappy. Bobi Wan. All right, so we know where to take the final letter once we find that. I watched MinMax play this for a bit and almost passed on it, played it myself, and now I'm thinking it's one of my favorite games of the year. You're saying you gotta play it to believe it? This is the superior input delay soccer I was talking about. I feel like when I press the X button, this character jumps immediately. Which soccer I said was impossible for 3D games. He said, you made me make Smash Bros. It's not my fault. I'm all cut up on my Sakurai vids. Yeah, I do like the rocket bike with nobody on it. I like how Sakurai doesn't want to waste our time. Me too. Those videos are brief, dude. An aura of hatred. <laughs> Yes! What kind of Joker coin is this? What is that meant to be? What is this? Chad, is this some of your Joker shit? I'm not so serious. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Nice. Joker Lincoln. But he also, like, he had, like... 2006 hair. Lincoln did not have hair like that.
Good job, buddies. Honestly, I forgot about that. But they didn't forget their mission. I, uh, I'm actually starting to wonder if there's any incentive to picking up unnecessary pollen. Should I just stop collecting that? <laughs> You're saying Lincoln had that haircut, you just couldn't see it under the stovepipe. Okay. There's a trophy tied to it. Okay, cool. Reason enough for me. We have not seen any of this stuff yet. Ah! Can I do that, but then bubble? You can. Cool. No death penalty. So nice. Hey, I finished Kirby this week. The Kirby true ending. It was it was not what chat pitched it as. But there were no revelations. The multiplayer one. No, that unfortunately has no end. Uh Forgotten Land. Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Yeah, I think this is just a private residence. Pretty cool. Thought you finished that way back. I didn't 100% it. I didn't do all of the uh, post-game world. So let's see if anybody's waving at us in here. I don't think so. Really cool MP3 player. You need references for something like that. You know what I mean? There's no way you could remember what an MP3 player looks like. <laughs> you need to Google that for sure. The Morpho Knight had a notable lore implication. I was wondering about that. Because it seemed like it just, it was a butterfly that just kind of by chance wandered into the fight. So you're saying that there was that was no random chance that that butterfly appeared. All right, chat is now complaining that it is anachronistic for that MP3 player to be existing in this early to mid 90s world we had sort of established an era for which the humans had left and the mp3 player does kind of run against that i hear you i hear you i hear you i'm not bothered Because I mean, uh, if I I mean it is the calendar, right? It was like a it was a 1991 calendar. Some people keep calendars around, but also chat. Plenty of people were hanging on to VHS tapes long after they were selling DVDs. People held on to their tapes. The soap board is so fun. It doesn't need infinite momentum, but they just said it would be more fun if it does. <laughs> DVD killed VCR. True, I guess you couldn't really... 
record your favorite shows on DVD. I mean, there was always some guy who was. There was always some guy burning DVDs. <laughs> what I spy from up here. Damn, we gotta go get that now before it's too late. Don't know how I missed it. Break time coming up. I think we're gonna be able to finish this level before break time. I think we should take a break once this level's done. I can feel it wrapping up. Oh, yeah, we should talk to this place over here. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Cool. So now we can do whatever challenge they gave us for that corner over there, too. They said we would need two bubbles. Yobe has an oh, yeah. Can I get an Oya for just having moved back to Japan this week? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Congrats. I'm sure that wasn't easy. I was looking at the travel restrictions this week. You can, like, you can, like, visit Japan, but you have to be on, like, this designated tour. <laughs> You have to do the tour. You cannot be a tourist in Japan right now and just go off and do your own thing. They just got rid of that? Is that something they changed this week? Shoot, it looks like we're going to be able to just take the, t the uh, CD up here. Maybe I was reading an old article. Golden Triforce is currently in Japan. But, like, Golden Triforce, I think, got a uh, visa, right? Like, a, a reason for being. Alright, so before we throw that disc into the boom box, let's uh, see whatever thing they told me to double float for. Yeah, an internship. Shoot, yeah, because I don't have the screwdriver yet, and then I definitely don't have the baby bottle pop. Okay, it was right here. They said, To glide to the top of the halogen, you need at least two full bubbles. Look what I spy. So we'll take care of this, some stuff up there, too. My god. I... I... Love this game! Shababy. Got our screwdriver. Huge. What? We're in the back side of the TV. So cool. So, so cool, man. Wow. This is my shit. This is my shit. They broke it, my picture box. I'll fix it. Hopra, I'll fix it. Intentional or, or unintentional that this creature's name sounds like Oprah. You decide.
I've opened a CRT before. It's way crazier than this inside. It is. And dangerous, too, right? They're like, do not ever open a CRT. My, I miss this. Sorry, chat. My wife and I have been waiting two years to move back to Macau to see her family. Still can't bring the cat. Because of travel restrictions. PewDiePie has been covering his move to Japan. PewDiePie has more resources than your friend Kyle has. Oh, I got two bubbles now. I'm stupid. Bubble one, bubble two. Easy, bro. <laughs> Baby bottle pop. Oh no, that's a big slip. Topher Grayson, your friend Kyle. <laughs> it's just like a like a decently more charming version of myself. A streamer who entertained hundreds. <laughs> this is your friend Kyle. I thought this guy was going to give me a gem. Oh, the gem was stuck to the tape, dude. The, the gem was the baby bottle pop. We got to go collect it. Ooh, look at that Ninja Turtle mask. Oh. Yeah. I think that's a tardigrade, dude. That's a water bear. So I do wonder, because we've completed that mission, if there actually are any more Ninja Turtle masks in this stage, or if that's a hint to, in further stages, look for another bug like that. I think it's time to just do the thing, bro. Let's do it. One thing I miss from Pikmin is throwing extra Pikmin on the task to make it go faster. We're kind of smug, huh? <laughs> We're kind of a smug guy. He blanks. Hey, Steven Ellis. Deadline reporting that Florence Pugh will be the lead in Thunderbolts. Hell yeah. His pupils blink? Surely you realize these are glasses. Well, okay. To be fair, the line between the glasses isn't huge. 
Oh no. We're missing the play button. Where is it? missed it he looks like Brandon Jones no he does not no 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 resemblance I disagree I just wholeheartedly disagree with that with all my heart Yeah, there it is. Damn, was it always there, or did I just kind of, uh, did it just appear? It was always there, I'm sure of it. Sorry, before we finish this level, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get that. I gotta get those honey bunches of oats. Shoot, I'm not going to make it. Chat confirms it was always there. I simply missed it. The game's a fucking rush, bro. <laughs> The game's just excellent, brother. Holy shit. Oops, we see more honey bunch of the oats down there too. Okay, cool. Good that we're taking this little extra excursion. Yeah, I don't know for 100%. I feel like if that was the last bit of oats, the game would say. You can see on the pause menu. Got it. We're short. that for a rocket ship. I'm not sure why we need that for a rocket ship, but we do. Where do we think we missed those clusters, bro? Sixty-seven we're short? Dang. You know where they are? They're behind the tapes. It's okay, though, because later on in the game, you unlock a thing that allows you to see the clusters in your binoculars. So we're okay for now. You don't, unfortunately. Craze, you probably just missed it. So there's still a glow up there next to that lamp. I'm going to check it. 
check the temple, and then I'll check the temple. Okay, so that glow was a candle, unfortunately. Hey, hey, that's a fun trophy. If you light all the matches, a 50 clump appears. Okay, so that means I probably missed one. Hey, hey. That is an example of clutch chat. What you have just witnessed is clutch chat. Bear witness. <laughs> Where did that thing end up? Derek, 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 thanks for being a 24 monther. A friend and I did a top 10 movies list. A Christmas Story was my number one. He told me a holiday movie can't be your favorite of all time. Is this a legitimate rule? It is not a legitimate rule. However, there are 30 better Christmas movies than a Christmas story. There it is, there it is, there it is. Frosty the Snowman is better than a Christmas story. Twenty nine more, let's go. <laughs> Isn't that a TV special? You're chat, you're in here trying to call Frosty not a movie? All right, my first disappointment of the game is this music. It's not bad. I just think it needs to uh, hit harder. Can you change it? We should try. Good suggestion. We should try. You need an iconic track. You cannot. This is the music all these bugs pray to, you know? Hundred percent you can pick a Christmas movie for your favorite movie. Otherwise, what are you doing? Otherwise you like it has to be Godfather. If you start adding rules, it's like it's like Final Destination Foxes only. You know what I mean? I think we're going to have to leave this level without having fully scoured it. It's behind those tapes. behind those tapes. This is going to be remain a great mystery to me. There's a hidden cluster on top of the TV that steamed you. Okay, okay, okay. Let me check that. Top of the TV. I'm on it. Get steamy, baby. That That is a perfect example of clutch chat. Perfect example, the double clutch. Chat knew exactly what I missed. A candle in the temple and the cluster on top of the TV. 
All right, so we're going to add this to our spaceship and then we'll take a break. <laughs> this is cute. They know that we have to travel slowly. So they have this little promenade set up for us. Check 1991 billboard charts. Not a great year for music. We did see a 1993 poster. What year is... Yeah, unbelievable. Oh! That's got to be 91. Can Ernest Saves Christmas be someone's favorite movie? Yep. Chat for real, is that 91? Did I bullseye that? Nah, bugs don't have nipples. No need for them. It was October 1990. Oh, bummer. Not quite a bullseye. <laughs> the core cat is really cool. Oh, a third bubble? Hell yeah. You know there's a really cool secret that requires all eight, of eight bubbles. Uh, okay, let's check out... No, 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 no. Yep, 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 yep. We're gonna check out our museum, and then we're gonna take that break. I think it was meant to be a penny. But they really did just give this head 2006 hair. Wow. Okay, I actually, I'm, I don't know. We might actually get lore here. I'm going to hold off on saying that's a penny. The symbols around the head seem to indicate, like, you know, where, where the date would appear and in God we trust, stuff like that. But let's keep our minds open. The treasures may become enlightening. Oh, I mean, look at the creature, dude. Ew, we gotta look at that temple again. Is it in the shape of a tardigrade? Hmm. 
We'll find out after the break. It totally is. That's fun. That's good shit. Ring Pop. Are you saying Ring Pop's got a theme song? Is that a little bone bubble? Adults used to just think we're dumb as shit. Adults used to treat children like pieces of shit. <laughs> Here's your commercial. Run forward. Thanks for being a 26 month -er. Uh Between this game and Stray, it's a good year for Montpellier. So that's where the former Ubisoft people are all hanging out. Gotcha. glad adults don't treat kids dumb anymore. <laughs> I feel like I feel like there's a greater maturity in like kids media. You know what I mean? Like animated shows are smarter now. I would like to believe that extends to advertising. But then also, I'm not familiar with, like, what's what's up on YouTube. You know what I mean? Hello. My niece and nephew will be like, you know Skylar Chalk? And I'm like, no, I don't know Skylar Chalk. Like, I, I got a Skylar Chalk TV shirt. Check this t-shirt. Check this out. It's like, I don't... What do they do? Skateboard. Gaming. Stunts. Meteorology. <laughs> Mice. <laughs> it's gonna be cloudy, my dude. Cloudy skies ahead, my guy. And then just pulls out a little mouse. Um, all right, let's uh, let's take that quick break, and then um, let's keep playing this game. I'm I'm loving this video game. It's a pleasure to be able to play this today. High of seventy eight. Let's go! Let's go! You're right. Let's go is a thing that Tom Brady. And 11-year-olds love to say. Let's go is gone. Let's go is dead. Let's go is, is just, it's deceased. You can't say it anymore. You got to figure out something else. A <laughs> chance of precipitation, no cap. <laughs> I'm actually really liking to start starting to like this streamer. What's his name? Something Chalk? <laughs> Skylar Chalk. Skylar Chalk's actually really cool. <laughs> Severe chance of thunderstorms, my guy. All right, uh, let's take that quick break and we'll be right back. See you soon, chat.
We're back, baby. When when is the new Digimon card set out? When's that out? How's this game? Crazy good. You missed the last one? I checked it was like a fake half set. It wasn't, you know, BT9 or whatever. When I looked for when I looked for it. BT9 is out. Oh, okay. EX2. Yeah, EX2 is what I was finding, but you're saying BT9 is out right now. Been out for a bit. Okay, we might have to pick up a BT9. Do you recommend it or no? Yeah, Sulfo, it's crazy. Shinshan looks like the perfect Kyle game, and I let it slip. Hopefully someday I get a shot. What was the bet where I get backseat bossman again? Is it if Zelda comes out this year? Did I see the color digivices? No. If you got a link, I got. I would like to check that out. Can we get a non-playlist break next time? Maybe we'll let chat vote from one of three words to search filter. That was actually a non-playlist break. It unfortunately wouldn't be discernible from the regular playlist in that this playlist is called Future Base Essentials. And you know I love Future Base. It's my favorite musical genre. But yeah, that's not the playlist. Ooh, that looks fancy. This looks fun and fancy free. Prepare yourself. Stand by. Ooh. 60 bucks is a steal. <laughs> it's not. Kyle, it's not a steal. <laughs> Yeah, but no, dude, no, do not, do not. Okay, all right, all right, I'll hold back, I'll hold back, I'll hold back. I'm gonna hold back. Not actual size. I wonder if on anybody's monitor in this world, if it is actual size. I'd want a real photo of the screen. I'm trying to figure out how it works, right? Because it looks like the back of the screen is identical to the way that the black LED would work. LCD, I guess. Uh, so it's like, yeah, how is this thing actually displaying right now? It's so funny to see the tiny kid sleeping. Um... Borka Barnett, thanks for being a two-monther. I love a two-monther. Yeah. Can you click on the Frieza? Yeah. Second form, bro. You have to be you have to be a specific fan to want a $90 second form Frieza. Hey, I watched Dragon Ball Super Superhero this week. God, this is a nice figure, though. Look at those legs. How did those bend? His tail's cut off. That's so nice. That's such a nice figure, dude. That's, that's why it's $90. It's so poseable. Um, Dragon Ball Super Superhero is maybe my favorite movie of the year. <laughs> I 
I realized, like, it made me realize what a simple person I am. You know what I mean? I'm such a simple person. More than Frank. More than any Marvel movie. More than Top Gun. More than Nope. Dragon Ball Super, superhero. Is a really good movie. Nope's great. Nope's great. Nope's great. No, 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 no. I'm not saying Nope is not good. I'm saying Dragon Ball Super Superhero is exemplary. Favorite until you see One Piece film red. What I love about Dragon Ball Super movies these days is that they're just canonical. All this shit is happening and all of this will have an impact on what happens in Dragon Ball in the future. They're going wild and all of it's real. All of it's actually happening. <laughs> no, they uh, JoJo, they only had um dubbed, but to the credit of that team, it's just some of the those voice actors are so good. They just get it. They get the material. They're having a really fun time. I'm I'm I was happy to watch it dubbed. That team's great. Nailing their jokes. Is it better than a Christmas story? It is. Yep. Whereas, you know, you watch a One Piece movie and it's like, none of this shit's happening, but we know you just like seeing these characters interact with each other. It's like, okay. No, apparently I got to watch the uh, prologue for Witch from Mercury. Chat told me it's on YouTube. So I'll get I'll get a little watch. Spinning Toaf, thanks for being a ten monther. Yeah, I actually don't know what the plan is for the anime. So they started Dragon Ball Super Superhero. I think toward the end of the development of the last movie, if not right after. This, this thing's been in development for a long time. And so I think like the next anime chunk is happening soon thereafter. But, you know, it's just, you know, well, we went through COVID since the last movie, too. Um, but, yeah, I don't know if they've been public about the plans for Dragon Ball Super going forward. Are the fights in CG? The whole thing is CG. Except for flashbacks. Interestingly enough, they do flashbacks in classic 2D animation. Which is kind of cool. Have I seen the giant Magitek armor that's $13,000? I think so. Yeah, I think, I think chat showed that to me when it was new. We're still in COVID. Yeah, I guess I mean the shock of COVID. The shock of work from home. The shock of like, wait, is this going to end? Do we keep going or and then you know especially for like a Japanese animation studio where they're used to everybody coming in to work every day just you know a, a gigantic ranch into their system so yeah I'm excited I'm excited to see where they're going are they getting close to the end of Z at this point yeah yeah oob has to show up soon. Imagine the thrill when Oob shows up, bro. Would I consider any One Piece action figures or statues? Action figures? No. Statues? There's got to be some choppers out there. You know what I you know what I'm actually really jealous of and I wasn't jealous of the time but now I'm thinking about how cool it was. Uh one time when we were doing Gundam building, Brad had um uh Mary Go. He had a model of the Mary Go. And it had it had like the little trees that they had oranges from on top of it. And so a lot of, like, the uh, ships, I think, are really cool.
Cat flap. Chip. I'd probably want a model of a uh, One Piece ship. Trafalgar submarine is probably what I would want. <laughs> I think that'd be such a cool, like, kit to put together. Yeah, it's a tardigrade. Cute. Very cute. Bunch of cool Frankie kids? Can I build a Frankie? General Frankie, the like the two the two part machine that combines into itself. Oh my god, that I, I might have to fast track that. This will be cool. It looks like this is where a bit of the research into the tardigrades happened. Yes. All right. So this is where the human learned how to shrink. I love centaur Frankie. No, Jojo, we can't talk. We can't talk that deep into One Piece. That's spoiler territory. So I'm playing it on PS5, but I think it's on a lot of things. I think it's also on Switch. These are not the colors I was imagining. But look how sick this shit is. I mean, I guess, of course, it would be red, white, and blue. Yeah, that is, that is, that is a priority. That's a priority. That is so sick. Get that man on the shelf, yeah. It's on Game Pass? I didn't realize. That's a good get, bro. Wait, is Kyle into One Piece? I just started this year and I'm caught up. Oh, we need pinks. Reds cannot lift a letter. caught up on the anime as well. No, I have not even uh, delved into the anime. I did check on Crunchyroll, right? They have a bunch of movies. I don't know if chat would consider them movies because it's more like Frosty the Snowman. Uh, but they have a bunch on Crunchyroll. Much longer than 20 minutes, yep. Here we go. Oh, greens are new. Let's get a new cutscene, baby. <laughs> These cutscenes are great. Okay, so greens are stackables. Got it. Is this Pikmin-esque? This is a Pikmin-like, no doubt. It's um, a carefree platforming. It's more focused on platforming. Oh, so we like make a ladder out of them. Okay. <laughs> um, And they're not as annoying to... Uh, take care of. You can pretty much jump anywhere and your tiny cane will just follow you. They're pretty easy going about it. Yeah. 
to go through all the One Piece OPs, especially the first one being the most iconic in the franchise. Uh. Ooh, did we just do a wall jump? No, there was a little ledge that we stood on. Let me get this straight. I can do a freaking wall jump? Okay, so we definitely need more greens. We, ch we cheated our way up to this point. But I need to find a, 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 just another little cluster of three. Cool little village here, man. Oh, I love this game. Good God. Wow. Old meme. You're right, that's an old meme. My bad. My apologies. I cannot believe that this is just a thing you get for free. The soap board. Any other video game. Will. Make you work for it. So you appreciate it more by the time you finally get it. Throughout the history of time. Any other video game will make you work for it. Tiny kids like here it is. There you go. It's a skateboard. It's soap to fit our theme, but it's a skateboard. Go nuts. Does soap work on water? Oh my gosh. What am I thinking? Of course it will. Anything on PlayStation Premium that you will check out this coming month. Um, the soap does not work on water. It disappears for some reason. Um... Yes, thank you for reminding me. It's another thing I gotta get on our September schedule. Return of the Chuckle Fucks. Siphon Filter 2. Alright, I don't know if I got back in the intended way. And to be clear, it's not, I don't have PlayStation Premium, but um... I'll buy that game. <laughs> Cute. Is the taser in two? This is gonna be a huge uh, factor in really my, my enthusiasm for returning to the world of Siphon Filter. Honestly, I, I liked that praying mantis's message. Which Hotel Transylvania will I play in October? The new one. The one that's like fairy tale adventures. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Uh, yeah, I remember in some of the um, BSBs? Gosh, I, for I forgot what they're called. It's not Backstreet Boys. Uh, SBS, maybe, then. The little things Oda would write at the end of a chapter. He would talk about, like... Yeah, I wrote... I wrote this little bit... I wrote a song in this chapter because I knew it would be good in the anime. 
I knew the voice actor would sing this song in the anime, so yeah, I wanted to do that. So I hear you when you're like, you gotta, you gotta hear those songs, dude. Creator's intent. So cool, man. This is my kind of game. The taser is in the game and they even made a commercial about it. That's so funny. Randy Pitchford is auctioning off a collection of loud shirts for charity. Okay. Hey, if it's for charity... I can't be cynical at this time. Unfortunately. <laughs> Apparently Luffy's voice actor wants Luffy to be her final role. She voices Krillin as well. So she wants Krillin to die. <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? Still no pinks. No, I, I didn't. I did not see pink. Okay, I'm not. It's not what I saw. Krillin died many times. If you say you want Luffy to be your final role, and Krillin is still alive and well, it's like you want. You want Krillin gone. I love collecting clusters. I love collecting Tinykin. Just having a great time, bro. Okay, I think I might have to collect that one with my body. Okay, I think we got enough to handle this situation out here. Delayed input season with Randy Pitchford shirts. How much would it cost? Oh, we got four pinks. We can grab this letter. What would it cost me? The approximate value is set to $400 each. Okay. <laughs> is that what he pays? Or does he believe that's the added value of having it have been on his body? The value goes up for each magic show they've been in. <laughs> I believe that's common amongst shirts, though. That's not just a Randy thing. If your shirt has been in a magic show, normally it does raise in value.
Oh, I see. It's the mushroom that's blocking that. Okay. We're learning how lizards grow their tails back. That's important. Yeah, it's and that's a that's a limb growing back. Ew. Okay. The DNA, we're restoring the DNA. Oh, this lore is gonna get wild, dude. <laughs> Alright. Just a domino. Chat, when is Domino Masters coming back? Dan Flashes. If you told me that there is a website that sold Dan Flashes shirts, I would believe you. Insane missed opportunity, if not. Would I ever play the Mythbusters game on stream? Yeah, I would. What's that about? How do you make that into a game? I would make it where, like, you have to be a Mythbusters producer. Production on those shows is kind of nuts. Okay. Okay, doke, dude. We're high. Sorry, I've got three bubbles. Not an issue for me. Ooh, I bet I could have gotten those up there. I messed up bad. Yoink. Not a yoink. That was a doink. We're taking the bones up here. How's this game? I'm freaking loving it. I'm, I'm a little distracted by how much I like this game today. And then I can do this? Oh, no regrets. Easy. It's hard to stream because of how distracted I am by how much I like this game. Is the background music good? It seems a bit dull so far. I would agree with that. I would say I'd say it hasn't been stand out. Miss some pollen in the tents. Good looking out. Okay. Pretend you don't know. Pretend you don't know. Okay. We'll get it. We'll get it eventually. They're just being a bit stubborn. You know what? We could probably climb back up. Yeah, you definitely can. Look. Okay, cool. No worries. What are the MC's thoughts on this environment? We actually don't get a lot of those. That is another nice thing about Pikmin. 
is I actually really love the journaling that Olimar does. The popcorn is pollen, and if you get enough of it, you get extra bubbles, and bubbles are how long you can glide for. You can see the bubbles kind of over his head right there. Presumably in the final levels, we'll have to do a lot of gliding. So there, right? I, I totally whiffed one of my tiny kin. In Pikmin... I'd have to go back and get it. <laughs> and Tiny Ken is just like, it'll find its way back to you. Don't worry about it. Cool. Neat. If you had to speculate about Nintendo's next exciting games not announced, what would I guess? Um, I believe in Donkey Kong. Um, ex Nintendo's next exciting games, dude. That's tricky. I believe in every single uh, re-release rumor that was happening this week. So not just the Zeldas, but uh, F-Zero GX, I believe. I believe in that. F-Zero GX is probably the Bandai Namco one that chat was baiting me into for a while. Okay, so we're going to have to get into the head of that flower a different way. Metroid Prime has been announced, though. It's been announced. The question was, was, what's Nintendo's next exciting game that they have not announced yet? And I would like, for, I, lo I would love for them to do some new shit. Truly. I would love some weird new shit. Stop that, stop that. But I don't know, man. It's um lean years, no doubt. Oh, I'm actually out of reds. Damn. Out of reds. Well, there's some more. Okay. Let's go handle it right now. I definitely want to see that cactus, but I will forget otherwise. Great. Weird new single player shit. Yeah. Arms is weird. Arms arms is just like I've never wanted to play arms. I've never wanted to flick my wrists in a fighting game. It doesn't matter how good your character design is. I will not want to do it. Reds you do not get back. They blow up forever. I feel like Cactus Crunch is not a cereal, but like uh, Doritos. Hey, hey. 
aqui. So cool, dude. I love that shit. Okay. <laughs> I really like the addition of greens. I was obviously not too excited. Like, it's just like, okay, so they stack. That's what their power is, is stacking. But they're so fun in practice. Cool shortcut. Nice, buddy. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess we could take this key to the front and see what they want next. If Sony shows Spider-Man 2 in the next two weeks, would I go media blackout on it? I think that, um... I would definitely watch. I'd be watching it. Kyle will black out from excitement, yeah. Will I stream like a dragon too? That's a great question. I think it's simply too long. This guy wants to fight? No, I think he's like, we could just take that now. We could beat the level. So weird, okay, all right. Get that bone. Um, I don't know what I need the screwdriver for. I uh, only have one of the letters. We could drop it off to see how many more we need. I thought the post office was here in this town. There it is. Okay. Four letters again. Cool. Yeah, let's keep exploring. <laughs> it's tough, man. I don't I don't know. I uh freaking love this. all I've ever wanted. TGS is not this weekend. I think it's uh, next weekend. So, like, a lot of shit's happening next week, right? Um, that crazy Marvel Games show, I think, is next Thursday. Rumor has it Nintendo Direct week after that. Oh, this is so cool. How much is this boy? M bad boy? Merely 25 bucks. Man, after spending 60 on Gundam last week, this is like, this makes up for it. <laughs> the expense is excused. It's around 22 on Steam and free on Game Pass. Incredible. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, oh. That gun game was 60, it was. Oh. Oh. 
really love these bugs. Um, I think chat was right. That Gundam game is built to be multiplayer. It's built to be a multiplayer squad game. And obviously that was not how I was playing it. And, uh... They're like, sure, you can play every... Oh. You can play every mission with yourself and two AI partners, but, like, you can't succeed. <laughs> um... Yeah, our skull is in there. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Shoot, that's the way out. You can't convince your school buds to try it? I wouldn't, no. The game's not of the caliber of, like, Arcade Geddon. I would not subject them to that. And it's $60, yeah. That, that's tough to ask your friends to get involved with. I wasn't sure, like, I'll ask him to get, uh, Turtles. Because Turtles, really, the only ones we could play online are the two arcade games. Turtles in Time and, you know, Classic, Original. Um. So that's, like, 40 bucks for, like, two games that are, like, an hour and a half long, you know? If they're on board, I'm on board, obviously. But, uh, I don't want to, like, pressure anybody into that. Okay. We accept this mission. Right, team? Okay. No! Kill me. Kill me. Take me. So the important thing is, you actually have a lot of time to set up your jumps before the snaps come clapping down. There's a trophy for dying to those plants? You're sick, crazed. You're sick. Because you know I'll do it. <laughs> You know, I'm happy to oblige. First episode of the new Gundams on YouTube. Chat's telling me, so they said it's a prologue. So I assume it's like a promotional, like five minute thing. If it's better or more substantial than that, heck yeah. Let the baby eat you is Kyle's mantra. <laughs> yeah, I think I said let it have you. Hmm, <laughs> not that way. Okay. Do I do fictional happy birthday shoutouts? If so, Boa Hancock, can Boa Hancock get a happy birthday? No, if we start doing One Piece birthday shoutouts, it will, there will be no end to it. One thing I did learn from SBS is that like, every day is a One Piece character's birthday. Does Boa deserve it more than most others? Yes, she does. But we, we simply can't start that.
kind of cool part about being caught up is like being at the state where like none of us knows what's going on with the character right now. None of us can spoil shit because nobody knows. Kind of interesting. Look down. What? 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 Tell me. <laughs> okay, bud. You gotta learn perspective sometime. Okay, I think I'm going to try to get there from that leaf. But let's see if that's really our best option. Yeah, all right. Elden Ring view up here. I mean, I love a 3D platforming stage like this, big time. Oh no, 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 no. You're good, you're good, you're good. You got there, nice. You know what, I think we could have, I know, okay. So what are you looking, are you looking for a baby bottle pop? Baby bottle pop. Can One Piece get a happy birthday on its birthday? Yeah, we could do it. What, what day is One Piece's birthday? Stuck in that beam. Oh, I got three. I got three bubbles. I got three bubbles. Don't worry. What direction did you want me to go in, though? That one over there, okay. Ooh, no! Come on, man. July 22nd. Okay, phew, we just missed it this year. Cool. I feel rewarded for picking up bubbles because of this challenge right here. That feels nice. So smug. Bro, we're we're in danger right now. Stop acting like you're hot shit. <laughs> We could die. And then it should just be right there, right? Yep, cool. Cool. That was signed. That had the Artemis signature on it. So I would like to get into that tank. Uh, was there something else I wanted to do? Ooh! Okay. Was there something else I wanted to drop in on? I don't think so. So how are we getting into the tank? What's the entrance? It's not the top. That way is the exit. It's got the skull that we need. Hmm, I wonder if we drain it somehow. You know anything about this tank? Yes! So we're gonna do this. Very cute, dude. Very cute. See rumor of a Team NT AAA coming out next year? Just uh, just the headline. Uh, I'm guessing chat didn't give me details because there aren't more details about who the possible development team is. 
It'd be cool if it's Nether Realm. That's a new one. Cool. This dropped uh, Thursday, I think. Or Tuesday. It dropped Tuesday, didn't it? Same day as Turtles. Alright, we're still missing one envelope, but I think we can finish the skeleton. My god. This this feels these these levels feel so great to complete. Oh, we haven't been in there. Let's do it. Yeah, I've been too afraid of the water. Hey, we don't need to be. We're gonna have to get these eventually, you know? Who? I love green tiny can. Hey, hey, our final letter. human who shrunk or a small alien man that's actually kind of like the lore of this game is pretty interesting so far uh we grew up on a planet called ether calling ourselves aether calling ourselves humans and this scientist suspected that we actually came from a planet other than aether And we're discovering here, obviously, yeah, we, we came from planet Earth, but why is everything so huge? And we're finding research from a scientist who was researching how to shrink. Aegis, yep. So it's kind of cool. I didn't expect this game to have cool lore. But they went ahead and did it. Oh, nice. Now we can finish our skeleton. I feel like this level is shorter, or maybe we're just more accustomed to how the game flows now. Because I think we're pretty much done. We'll ha have to do some honey bunches of oats cleanup. There's some right there. Very Xenoblade-like. Not unlike Xenoblade. Here you are. Yes! Four bubbles, baby! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and then upstairs is the mailbox. Huge. And then our final eight clusters we will receive, hopefully, when we finish the skeleton. We've been up there, right? Yep. Okay. Crossing my fingers here. All the magazine says is something about Shredder's Revenge, Cowabunga Collection, and that Paramount will launch a brand new original AAA game in 2023. So it sounds like they spoke out of turn, right? It sounds like they either fully didn't pick up on the details. Oh, that's cool. It's not a dinosaur. It's a frog. Love that. Of course, we're babies. We're tiny.
Ooh. It's not a cluster, but something cooler. Baby Froggy Pop. It's entirely possible that they got some details mixed up. Is our problem here. Alright, so there are eight clusters of honey bunches of oats in this level that I happened to walk by. Maybe in the other gate of the town? Yeah, we could check that for sure. Check in like this early zone before I had a tall ladder of greens, you know? There's definitely, you know, these water clusters that I was ignoring because it's like, oh yeah, I'm not ready to swim yet. Hey, hey, that might be it, man. I think that's eight. Very nice. Clutch chat continues to be clutch. You're just hoping it's not another game from Game Mill? <laughs> I don't think they would say AAA if it's from Game Mill. Any interest in Digimon Survive? It was low. When I learned that most of the game, 70% of the game would be a visual novel, the interest was low. But chat continues to praise it. Paramount does the Sonic movies. I wonder if they'd partner with Sega for a game. Oh my god. That'd be so sick. Yakuza team making a turtle Turtles game? 70% of the Earth is ocean? Yeah, and I skip out on most of the Earth. <laughs> I don't do most of the Earth. Survive is good, but you probably made the right call not streaming it. Yeah, maybe we pick it up just as like a... One thing I want to do is make all of the bad boy decisions and make some evil Digimon. That's a, that's a really attractive to me. Let's go! Did you talk to the gray ant that says boo? You need to talk to it in each level. No. We can do some backtracking. The gray ant who says boo. We might have actually already talked to the first one. Chat, would you remember if we talked to the in the first level the gray ant who says boo? Yeah, that's been signed by Ardwin. You got the first level, but walked past the second one. Cool, 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 cool. Well, we got to go to the second level anyway.
Okay, a great ant who says boo. We walked by him. I'm assuming he's kind of hidden. I think it's really cute, right? Like, you know I like to 100% a level before we finish it, right? Uh, here they, like, give you the opportunity. They're like, hey, if you didn't 100% that last level, go ahead. We're not going to force you into the next one. I do love that stuff. So I'm assuming the ant's kind of hidden in every level. It's just like lowly worm. Is that what we're talking about? This is a lowly worm scenario. We never really got lore on this thing, but I know that's not the last we've seen of Cactus Crunch. It's not too late to place your bets on cereal or potato chip. Hidden near the books. Okay, cool. And then we'll keep it, we'll keep in mind. It won't we won't have to uh rescour in the future. We're rescouring right now. Not our guy. That's a roach. Okay. There we go. You're right. We totally talked to Gasper in the first level. I remember that. Yeah, the scientist uh, was also looking at regenerative properties. Another part of the mystery. Sewer level, here we go. Cool. I expected a loading screen. This makes me appreciate the path. There's our loading screen. This is my kind of sewer level. It's just a giant bathroom. <laughs> Chad says you don't need to manually recall the green guys for them to show up. I think they stay in ladder form if you don't though, don't they? These levels are designed so well. So obviously you can't access some places unless you have the reds to unlock access to them. But here, look, so this level starts out with five reds right there. You choose how you want to spend them. I freaking love this stuff, dude. This is game design. Okay, so the silverfish like to party. I'm excited about this. And it looks like part of Poopa, party Poopa, got it, is the mayor. Do I think Uncharted 1 and 2 are popular enough to get a Last of Us Part 1 type remaster? Uh, 2 is, but no, I don't think I don't think Naughty Dog will want to do that again. I think um I think part of part of their incentive for doing um the remaster was like to get comfy with the PS5 and to keep uh, certain team members busy while they're working on whatever their next game is. So you don't have to fire the whole squad just because you're not all actively working on the next game, you know?
So they're probably everybody all hands on the next thing right now. Which I hope is something new. I hope I hope it is something crazy and new. I do not hope it is Uncharted. I do not hope it is the new Last of Us. Blues. <laughs> this is cute. Um, I had a question for you, actually, chat, about... Alright, so you're saying... Oh, yeah, look at that. Got it. Um, anime movie development. Because... Um, I want to know who actually wrote Dragon Ball Super Superhero. I don't believe Akira Toriyama did. Oh, I see. So I can't make a letter on that surface. But it says screenplay by Akira Toriyama. And I'm like, yeah, right. Okay, bro. Is it true? Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop it. I can't get off. Stop it. Stop it. There we go. Nice, dude. Nice, nice, nice. I kind of feel like the director has a huge impact on the script in the case of a movie like that. reason I thought of it was um, it feels in some ways like it's like a, a fresh perspective on some elements of that world and story um, but most notably I love to death how much the characters seem to enjoy flying they're never depicted that way Dragon Ball Z flight is always just like, let's go. Just like landing, landing straight, just like, Ugh. but here they'll like, just fucking flow in the sky. The flight in Dragon Ball Super Superhero looks so fun. And I'm like, this seems like, it seems like somebody actually thought for the first time in a long time, what it would be like to be a Dragon Ball Z character, you know? And I feel like that has to be like the director's vision. I, I feel like that's not an element of Toriyama's script. Maybe I'm not giving him enough credit. Was I able to watch subs? No, they didn't have that where I live. Blue Tiny can love electricity. Aim at an electricity source. You should be able to place one, two, or three. So maybe I just don't have enough for the chain? Oh, here we go. The prompt? Oh, weird. Let's try this. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so come back to me, babies. So we throw one. You can't be carefree with this one. Okay. Cool. Neat. Now, do you all have to stay there? Are you, are you just locked in now? They are. That's just their purpose now. Damn. 
Alright, that was cool, though. You read the Dragon Ball side manga, like Jocko, now that you're done with One Piece? Is Jocko canon? I'm in if it is. I read I died and was reincarnated as Yamcha. Which was not canon. Oh! Mucho heard something. Did you see how fast he got up and left? And I thought he saw, I thought he like saw a bug, right? But then he took a sharp turn right. Did the movie make me dislike Gohan less? Only dorks dislike Gohan. Well, okay. Only dorks dislike current day Gohan. Only dorks like teen Gohan. It's a complicated matter. <laughs> it's hard to explain here. If you're someone who was upset about the path that Gohan took in life, that is dorky. If you think Gohan was at his coolest the day he defeated Cell, that is dorky. I love these bugs. We gotta find the silverfish. Now, now it's funny, like, how often we see the birth control pills. Am I taking Monday off? No way. Oh, we're one short, huh? Okay, fair enough. Swimming in reds. Federal Twitch holiday. No, I mean, I'm happy to stream, you know what I mean? I uh, don't begrudge others for taking that day off. Um, but uh, I'm just happy to be here, brother. We gotta finish Tony Hawk. Project 8. Okay, where would we like to go from here? Oh! There's a lot of toilet business to uncover. So I will take care of the sink over here and then we will take the trip to the top of the lamp and then we'll do our toilet run. Okay. Is it bad vibes you tell the reds to blow themselves up? They seem to enjoy it. It is bad vibes, yes, but I mean, like, it kind of seems like it is their own choice. Cool. Hey, we're just about to go back there. So nice. Like Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon, I could make the argument. I often have to. That Pokemon want to become stronger. That they truly enjoy battle. They want to evolve. And you're helping them do that, right? 
they're battling in the wild without you. I don't know if I'm really helping the Reds. <laughs> Maybe they could just become, like, happy little slimes afterward? Then I would feel better. If we helped them transcend into slimes. They blow up, and then they become a slime. Hey, what do you think your home is, bro? <laughs> Cute. Oh, my bad. You're right. I guess so. The if it is a dung beetle, it's just stoked. An ideal living scenario. Nice, we needed those pinks. Yeah, I think it's time to begin our toilet adventure. Oh, that's funny. Actually, our, our adventure began on the toilet, and I didn't truly appreciate that. I just thought it was a big tube. Bro. <laughs> I, I know. I know. I thought it was like a, like a pipe, like a Mario pipe, you know? Those have rims, too. Toilets are just pipes with big rims, exactly. You could see how I would get confused. We gotta try to flush. Okay. He's satisfied. <laughs> I suggest you talk to Nettle near the toilet base water. Near the toilet base water. The mayor down there? Can you leave a tinykin in the bowl when you flush? No, the tinykin really, uh, they just hop around on their own. I can't really sabotage their lives. Game's awesome, dude. Good God. Cool. Big rope. Yes. Okay. Still only one envelope so far in this whole level.
shoot that one I threw is like wasted. Rate the ladder building sound effect? Uh, I'd give it an 8.8. So that's why we only found one letter. We were only checking out half this level. Those are the silver scales. Cool. Yeah, I do remember there's a board back at the... F oh my god, look at the scale, man. Ooh. So nice. What a strange bathroom, though, huh? Yeah. It's a wild one. That's endgame. We need more. We need more. Um, I do forget where... that sled was. There it is. The splotches on the toilet seat are were red eggs. Do not be concerned. If, if someone likes Pikmin a lot, should they buy this? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't take liking Pikmin to like this. Okay, we gotta open that door. So I guess you are all locked in to making that trade. Cool. It was a love that wasn't meant to be. We have to reunite them. To me, it's much more of a 3D platforming game than it is, like... A Pikmin management game. Got some new pinks. Where's the plug? All the way over here. What's it gonna take? Eighteen, we have it. We have the numbers. Let's do it.
Oh, we can do that. Bud, you gotta connect. There we go. I'd like to go diagonal. We're gonna see if we can pull it off. Huge. Not sure what that did for us. Entirely. But let's go. Oh. <laughs> I used my bubs up. I used my bubs. I think we'll figure that out later. I think that's meant to be figured out later. I swear I pressed it. I swear I pressed my bubs. Man, it feels so good to build up a nice stack of greens. Show me that stack of greens. Uh, do we want to go that way? That's, you know, the suggested path. We're going this way. Okay. Why are you saying roast and pie? Because <laughs> of Spider-Man 2? How much? 25. We're not even close. Probably gonna be four again. Just checking. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. It's like much more um, about 3D exploration. And maneuverment <laughs> than um Pikmin. Miyamoto doesn't even believe in the word maneuverment. <laughs> when it comes to Pikmin, Mario, Mario, he'll let hop wherever he wants. He'll give Mario a triple jump. He does not extend the luxury to Olimar. We're getting a lot of reds. I wonder what that's about. Kind of curious about what we're doing here. Oh, cute. So this is the other half of the uh, Star-Crossed Lovers team. 
we're trading this portrait to that bug who wanted to send the sled out this way. Door still blocked, so those pinks are essentially gone. My bad, team. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is like a Death Stranding mission. Okay, we got a plug. Hey. Can you help find my girlfriend? I swear to you, I love her. I love her a lot, okay? Deliver this to my girlfriend, whom I love. That's basically all I remember from that quest. I'm like, this guy... This guy does not love that girlfriend. <laughs> was that Keeley's quest? It was not. I don't believe Keeley's quest had any implied love interest. But to be honest with you, I don't really remember what I did for Keeley's quest. A laser pointer? Yeah. That is... 96, 97 we're talking there. I have an abundance of blues. I think they give you too many. Just in case you kind of mess it up like I did that first one. No! Oh, I didn't realize I could do that. Okay, cool. So while I did mess up that first one, it looks like we could have quite easily redone it. Optimally. Dirty socks. Let me in. Whoa. I do have four fulls. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bubbles full. Oh! Okay, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. It reminds me of Sora in those crazy Kingdom Hearts 2 dungeon. Well, the one crazy Kingdom Hearts 2 dungeon. God, that fucking dungeon, bro. <laughs> The things that stick to me the most are the things I hated most. Ooh! And that dungeon sticks to my ribs. Very interesting. We'll get the, we'll get those clusters. We'll get them. We'll get them. Their time will come. Bootleg Clan, I saw that. I'm happy for the team. I um you know, I'm no longer upset about games getting delayed. Bob Rush 
bomb rush cyberfunk what we're talking about. This is weird. It uh, reminds me of like the shield canisters in um, Apex Legends. It's for the best. Happy for them that they're able to delay, you know? I think that game's gonna be pretty sick when it comes out. It did destroy my fantasy hopes. That was basically the end of it. <laughs> but you can't be mad. Ooh, uh oh, uh-oh. Nice grab, little, bu little buddy. This game's a fucking blast, bro. <laughs> this is this game is so sick. Watch this. We're just gonna r rail ride across this whole damn map. Oh my gosh. Your favorite game doesn't compare. <laughs> this is the coolest shit. All right. We gotta go this way now. My favorite game is Spider-Man. Spider-Man doesn't compare. So hopefully this lets us into the vents that allows us to get that cluster that was hidden in the laundry machine. No, this is how we get back home this way. Well, I'll be. Cool. Very cool. It'd be tough. It'd be tough for Spider-Man to have an interior that's, that is this crazy. Nothing we should expect of that game. But yeah, if like Mysterio shrinks Spider-Man, <laughs> I'm there. I'm ready for it. Mysterio, please shrink me. Nice. Good job, buddy. Excuse me? What's going on? What'd you find out there? What happened? Hey, don't do that. Leave that alone. I know it's conflicting. Yeah, there you go. You can go up there. Uh, there's no physical explanation of how the soap works. None needed. <laughs> Just like the laser pointer and the hair clip. No, no explanation needed, dude. If you're explaining that science, you're working too hard. Man, I said we had a lot of reds and we're down to six. It happened. We've been spending. We'll be back, we'll be back.
Will I be picking up Bustafellow Season 2 for Fantasy Critic? Yeah, you bet. That's going to be like a second or third round pickup. Reviewers love Bustafellows. You're a fool if you don't pick that game up. I wonder if we actually already completed the terms that that guy wanted, or if there's gonna be more stuff. But obviously we're gonna keep exploring. Hmm, where's your wire? What am I connecting that to? Down here? All the way here? No, nope, that's a different thing. Okay. There it is. Ooh, this is the big mama. You are, you're given an abundance of blues. You don't have to worry about it too much. Step two of the dance party. Get the music playing. Yeah, look at all the clusters down there. We haven't been down there? No. Okay. So much to see still. Yeah, sometimes you play a game and you're just impressed by the designer's imagination, you know? This is incredible. <laughs> we gotta close the blinds so we can have a nighttime party. Ooh, do we have enough? Just enough. Can I climb that? Is that what you're hinting at here? No, I think we gotta go around. I'll try to climb it, though. Yeah. Did the music change slightly? I actually don't hear it. Can you kickflip the soap? Great question. You cannot. Soap tricks would be a good sequel element, I think. I was thinking about how hard it would be to create a sequel for this game. You've, you, you've basically done all of the rooms in a house, you know? And so it's like... Where do we go from here, you know? How do you escalate? How do you heighten? Okay, okay, where's your wire? We saw this a long time ago, and I said I'll deal with it later. Now's the time. Yeah, right. You kickflip the soap when you jump, right? Yes, you do. That's a kickflip. I don't believe the character's legs animate. <laughs> no, they do. They actually do. They actually squeeze together a little bit. It counts. Oh, yeah, that's a lever. Mm. 
Okay. Yep, 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 yep. We're gonna, I think we're going to take the boat in there. We are going to take the boat in there. No doubt. Check that stuff out. This is a good video game, bro. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, we have not found the ant yet. Gasper. Keep your eyes peeled. There's a trophy for hopping onto townsfolk a hundred times. All right, we'll do it. It must be done. Okay, we'll talk. Oh, okay. If we don't platinum it live, I will most certainly platinum it on Kyle time. Imagine this on Switch. It must be must be harsh AF. Yeah, I do. I think. Ooh. Close one there. I think, um, shoot. Ropes right there. I think somebody in chat has it on Switch. DK the Destroyer, the reason I'm not into uh, like 1080 or Amped is how serious they are. For me, most of the joy of SSX comes from its arcadey nature. Realistic snowboard games, I almost never get into. Hang in there, bud. Hang in there, bud. Hang in there, bud. We might have to reset, huh? Clear a cache or something? What's going on, game? I'm at my cutting's cousin's wedding, and I just heard this is how we do it, and it made me think of you. Happy Friday. Congrats to your cousin, Kronos. And that's a good wedding song. Do I still dislike Uber tricks? Yeah, big time. Uber tricks are for teenage Gohan fans. Okay, game. Huge overlap between fans of each. This party is going to pop off in due time. I love that we're assembling like a dance party. Very cute mission design. And also what I love is like, obviously we could have talked to that guy, right? And he would have been like, for this party, I need lights. I need a bubble bath. I need music. But the game, like, it, like, allows us to just, like, find the stuff. You know what I mean? The game says, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You don't need to hear all this dialogue. It's okay. You get it. And I truly appreciate that. All right. So one thing I'm obviously wondering about still is the honey bunches of oats inside of the dryer. I uh, I hear you about the save and pick up, but like I've, we're so deep into the level now, you know? We should just do it. Ugh. 
Do you think we'll pick up from here, or do you think I'll have to, like, pick up the whole crew again is what I'm scared of, you know? Pick up from here. Okay, all right, let's do it. We'll see. I think we'll end up at the beginning of the level with the same amount of tiny kin with us. I don't. I don't think it'll save lo our location. Do you want a tip? Not yet. Still enjoying exploring. Haven't started Angry Alligator. That's a. Ooh, nice. That's a good checkpoint. Could have been worse. Um. Uh oh. Angry Alligators are grab bag game. I forgot how much we needed for this bad boy. We got it. Just one red egg hanging out over here. I like their hee-ho music. Did I play any off-stream games? Yeah, Kirby. I finished Kirby this week. And I think there was a multiverses night. Kronos, thanks for gifting 10 gift subs. Rose Dower, thank you for being a five-monther. Does Angry Alligator have any relation to Roller Gator? I believe no. <laughs> and if it's Rose Dower, let me know. What path are you taking to get this into... What path are you taking? Oh, we're taking this to the dance party. I thought it was going right in the dryer. Sorry, washer. That's a dryer. No, that thing is the dryer. That's your washer. Okay. Beep bop beep boop. All right, now we have completed the dance party. It is Dower, as in power. Okay, Rouse Dower. I will hopefully remember that next time. Thank you. We have too many tiny kin, man. <laughs> that yet. I do wonder if the borders have opened. They haven't. Oh, but we have the key. Of course we do. Okay, let's handle that. We're going to open the borders so that we can give the lovers each other's gifts. from Spain. What is this magic? This game is magical. Oh, I see the I see a letter up there. Nice, 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 nice. Thank you, camera. All right, so you handle that. It looks like, yep, and then you handle that. Cute. <laughs> God, that's nice. Um, we can let them do that. I'm going to get that letter on top of this owl heater. 
which is not an appliance I'm used to seeing, by the way. I don't know if towel heaters are standard. Eek. Nice. I bet Blood has one too, dude. Jack, you didn't forget me. Oh, they're called Jack and Rose. Which would explain the portrait. And the raft? <laughs> Lieutenant Kitsurugi, thank you for being a 14-monther. Happy September back at you. You tried GB Studio 3, I hear it's changed a lot and it's really easy to do more complicated things now. Um, no, I haven't checked in on GB Studio in a while. Last time I did, they had 2D platforming, which I was really excited about, about, but it was too simple at the time. Like, you could not control the jumps, gravity, or trajectory. You know what I mean? You would simply assign the, the function of jump to A button, basically, and then it would just do that thing. Um... Sometimes I want to check back in on GB Studio because I know they have been working on it a lot. Cool. All right, one more envelope. Uh, we have not yet met the ants. So we have uh, the third little triple question mark. We have a lot. We have 136 clusters of honey bunches of oats. Uh, and then we have two more like weird objects to pick up. So lots left to do in this level. Taco Mambo, thanks for gifting 10 gift subs. Thank you. You've been on it tonight. Oh, you're right. One of those things is that ring. Yeah, we could take a trip back to the toilet half. We could see what's going on back here. Now that they're co-mingling again. They're this way. They're this way. They're this way. There they are. There was a resub before the gift subs. Thanks for looking out. Because, yeah, the <laughs> 10 gift subs does, like, clear up chat, right? Oh, it's Maddie. Uh, good luck in the FF draft tomorrow. You too. Thanks for being a five-monther. So we'll go, honestly, we'll go live a little before 5.30 because the draft starts at 5.30. So, chat, I'll, ha I'll have to, like, explain a bit. I'll show you my methods. You're going to see 100% out in the open. My secret sauce. Which is not very secret, but yeah. Uh, my resources. <laughs> that is so cool, dude. The borders are open. Yeah, what I like about what we're doing right now is that to this point... Like, think about that last level where everything was kind of exposed, right? We knew where to go at the end of the level. We had a pretty good idea of where we would find our next secrets and everything. Here, I'm not too sure. I'm going to try once more to go into the dryer. Because we at least were teased of a secret in there. 
Oh, yeah, we really don't know what to do with the washer still. Nothing's been revealed here. Ooh, I'm going to throw something at that power button. No doubt. Okay, I think we need to initiate some side quests first, though. This is 100% what we will be doing, but it's not active yet. Um, so there's probably somebody we have to talk to. I want to check in here one more time. I think it'll be easier from the other side. This is what I'm talking about right there. And we can see that the entrance is from the left and it's deep in. I, uh, I'll check in here, but I don't think it's in here. We'll look. I feel like it's a hint at another entrance, you know? Okay, cool. <laughs> there it is. Ow! Well, there it is. Okay. Hmm. Okay. We got our clusters. I was, in fact, hoping for another envelope. I don't know if I can get back. You cannot get back this way. We gotta go back through. Okay. Too pushy. You're too pushy. You're too pushy. You're possessive and you're pushy. I need space. Okay. So, the mystery of the washer remains uncertain. We are looking for squigglers. Ow! Okay, so everybody here went to the party. Got it. Ooh, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Huge. Where am I taking that bear? You know where I'm taking that bear. Oh, we gotta watch that bear. We gotta watch that bear. That's a dirty bear. Dirty bear. Huge. There's our envelope. Great. 70 clusters remain. You know what I mean? The game, it doesn't belabor you with the NPC dialogue there. We don't have to hear it, you know what I mean? Did I miss a cluster in that nook? This nook? Shh. 
show a happy meter? Oh, it's been... It's been off the charts today, dude. I am... I think I might be absolutely chuffed. I think we're pretty nooked up in here. Oh, okay, fair enough. No, does Mumbo Jumbo say chuffed? Mumbo Jumbo says chuffed because, you know, Rare is a British developer. But I am shocked he would say chuffed. Gasper, we're still missing Gasper, no doubt. Oh, you're not talking about Mumbo the character. You're talking about Mumbo a YouTuber. Gotcha. <laughs> Same. Still British chuffing. Ignoring poor Gasper? Did we go by Gasper? Didn't mean to. I've been I got my eyes peeled for Gasper. Yes. Another bubble, please. Where was Gasper? In here? In one of these nooks? Gas, were you in here? Yep. Oh my gosh. Very evident. Now that I know I'm looking for Gasper, you're right, I went right by him. Sorry, bro. Boo back at you. Any thoughts on Gizmo from Gremlins coming in multiverses? I don't know if I'll download. I did not download Rick. Sorry, Morty. I don't know if I'm in for Gizmo. We gotta see. If AJ Locasio is doing Gizmo's voice, I might spend the gold. Would I use the term chortle to laugh or giggle? Um, chortle to me is kind of like a stifled laugh. It's like a hop. <laughs> That's what I think a chortle sounds like. <coughs> um, and I think our, where's our post office? Is it up at the party? I think so. Nope, there it is. Hey, hey, Party forager, baby. I think we're good. Mm-hmm. H-U-A-G-H. He chortled gleefully. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good way to spell a chortle, no doubt. Let's 
so sweet, dude. Great level. Why does he keep making a bone? Together we're invincible. I'm sorry, so we finished this level entirely, right? Before we go, I do want to check out the dance party one more time. It's a foam party, bro. This is cool. The levels are dense with things to do, uh, platforming activities, NPCs, challenge, excitement, wonder. And you know, a thing that I love the most is like practicality. This level is a bathroom. It features things that would appear in a bathroom, like a towel warmer. I actually thought because the neon seems so special that that would be the portal to the last level of the game. Was that really important? Seems like we took their scissors for no reason. In every single video game, I'm giving, I am given instructions for. I am now led to be suspicious of my boss. And this bearded moth has done nothing to gain our trust. Prattle, I don't love your theory, honestly. And then what is this thing? Steel and trail. Alright, so this is like, to me, it reads like a hint at a previous game. I don't believe there is one. So we might have to like, discover this Ardwin is like a crazy robot by the end of the game. Hopefully. Fun stuff. 
You'll be happy to know that the allies struggled to pronounce Carcerar in a stream podcast the other day. What was the... Why did they have to? <laughs> cool. All right. We were hoping to come back here and now we are. Our time has come. Yes! Oh, we don't have any reds. This was the first area of the game. Right down there is like where you learn how to move around with the analog sticks. So it's really cool to be back here. Dream come true. You make my dream come true. Okay. Do we bubble? Or do we... You can't catch those with a uh, tiny can. Alright, so we bubble. It was all hype. <laughs> that obstacle was all hype. It was actually really easy to deal with. We can't break that yet. Okay. Uh, can we go up? No, we need greens. Yeah, we can't do that yet either. Okay, so we'll be back here again again. Great. The lands of Ambrose can be found behind this huge door. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. See you upstairs. You're an evil moth. You're an evil moth. You're an evil moth. Take a break before the next area. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, let's get that key. And so before we start the next actual level, we can take our break. Unless this is low key an actual level. Damn. Yeah, we should maybe... No, we got 15 minutes till break time, right? No, break time happens at 8. Oh, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Yeah, we should take our break then. We should. Because, yeah, this looks this looks like low-key and actual level. Hell yeah. Tony Sako, I'm freaking loving this video game. <laughs> I am loving this video game. It, it's already a 2022 highlight. Big time. I love this shit. Everything you see around you is shit that I love. Take a look, Simba. <laughs> Everything you see before you is shit that I love. Okay, so let's take that quick break and then uh, we'll be back to uh, collect more nectar, find out where this nine goes, and uh, refill coffee. Keep boosting the happy meter. Do I get any Chibi Robo vibes from this game? You know what? So we're talking about Pikmin a lot, obviously. Chibi Robo also applies a lot of what I would consider unnecessary constraints with 
the time of day and battery power that makes the game simply more annoying to play. This game's not going to be as long as Chibi Robo or Pikmin, but I it's just a pleasure. This game is no stress. It's just a, an entirely different design philosophy than could have existed, you know, early 2000s. whole different uh, you know group of expectations it's just so fun it i mean i think that's probably why it's 25 dollars because to me this is like a 50 dollar game to me this is like just you know one level beneath paint row <laughs> and yeah we don't have to fix anyone's marriage in this one thing i love to death is like how much you know the player chooses how committed they want to be to the story it's good. It's really good stuff. All right, so let's um let's take that quick break and we'll be right back. See you soon, chat.
I'm, um, legitimately delighted by the design philosophy of completing an NPC side quest without hearing their explanation. I'm thinking about, I was thinking about that bear. There's like no other game that would let me do that without first talking to that guy about that bear. <laughs> Tinykin is just chill. Thanks, like bag. Sorry I missed you before the break, if you're still around. Will that be enough? I don't think so, dude. We need more greens. Oh, so close. So close. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess we're just connecting those two. Normally it's a plug to a wire, but here it might be wire to wire. It is. Yeah, it works, and it's it functions a lot like uh, Breath of the Wild. A little easier to manage. Oh, we're doing wire to wire to wire. Okay. Well, then where do you want to connect to? Would you say 24? You said 24. Okay, it'll be a sec. The design is like an onion. Are you saying that because of Shrek, or do you mean it? Character's got glasses. Character definitely has glasses. Cool. I've never seen Shrek in my life. Get the clock taken. Um, I don't believe you. Have we ever talked about how pivotal Shrek is to I Am Legend? <laughs> I don't think so, right? I botched that jump. But why not make it a little easier? I can't remember. Like, part of uh, the history... Part of why Will Smith misses his child so much... Is he's thinking about how much she used to love Shrek. And there's just something about the way Will Smith says the word Shrek. Gives you goosebumps. Um, let's go, let's do all of this right now. Oh my God, I love this video game. Holy shit. Cause you know I love making plans, right? One thing I love doing in video games is making plans and executing. I am enamored, bro. So cool. <laughs> Great shortcut. And then, yeah, I want to see if what we can do here. I wonder if I should have waited till I was wandering around with a deeper squad. We'll see what we can do. 
like a modern day Toy Story 2. Yeah. Damn. All right, we'll be back, we'll be back, we'll be back. We need a deeper crew. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, actually that's a good death. Did I see the new River City 2 Girls 2 trailer announced four player co op? No. That is, um. That's a lot. I wonder if the game holds up with four players. Ambitious. That is ambitious. Do I think Beverly Hills Cop 4 will be good? Joseph Gordon-Levitt was just cast this week. Uh, is Eddie Murphy in it? Okay, so now we have access to that plug. Turtles has four players. Yeah, uh, and I wouldn't want to play with four players. Well, you know what? I did and had a good time. All right, we got part of this. We got the nine. Cute. All right, will we have enough blues to get across? I bet we do. <laughs> this shit's so awesome, dude. I, I can't even describe to you how much I love this kind of game design. Personal goatee. I can see where it's a little limited. This is a prison. I can see where it's a little limited in like the, the broad sense of like the kind of game that wins goaties. I don't expect it to see, you know, in that top five or six for the game awards, you know? Cool bug. What did you do? What did you do? Oh no. Gosh, I wonder if there's like interesting bug lore happening too. I'm getting too lazy to even jump and <laughs> just having them build a ladder for me every time. Kyle's played so many games this year calling him his personal goatee. What else? I feel like I haven't loved many games this year. Stray, Elden Ring, Tinykin. You know what? That's more than usual. Hey, there's something not right about this, actually. Where's the science in that? Low-key good year of games. TMNT, I was not saying as a personal goatee. I don't believe those words came out of my mouth. Hype check on Yakuza 8. There's a stream September 8th? I did not know that. Uh, hi, Hype. 
Hi, hi. Uh, what I would like to see the most is a crazy new party member. Yakuza has crazy party members. And, you know, that's like my favorite stuff. Uh, and I guess, you know, like my favorite party member was your co-worker from the office. Hey, hey, we found Casper. Uh, like her abilities were all like based off of office supplies. <laughs> and so I, I like, I like really like that aspect of the job system. Yeah, we'll check that out. It looks like we might have a race, dude. Soap race. So yeah, if they can find like another... So when I say crazy party member, I guess in the, in the Yakuza sense, that's a mundane party member. You know what I mean? I'd rather just have like another, like, I have a normal job, but I'm willing to fight with you than like, yeah, I'm a cool guy who has swords or I'm a cool guy who has a gun. I didn't end up using the summons because of the nature of how uh, you get the first one for free. <laughs> and then they have a cooldown, and then you have to pay for them. So much like uh, an RPG player hoards their ethers, I was hoarding my summons. You beat the whole game? Yeah. That was my first Yakuza game, yeah. And it's because it was a turn-based battle system. I freaking loved it. I like this. So this is the... This is just like a change of pace uh, half level, basically. This is some genius tier shit. This is really just to mix up your pacing. And it works for me. You don't want to get into like a predictable flow, you know? I think the, the stage has a nice, like, internal progression of collecting these numbers, which will eventually be what we input into the safe. Um, but you can absolutely collect them in any order you choose. I wonder, man. I wonder. How many people are going to be bringing this game up when they're talking about their favorite games of the year? We'll be back here. We'll be back here. We'll be back here. We'll be back. We'll be back. There's no way. There's 100% no way. Oh, here we go. 15. <laughs> Great. I can't be the only person who was hoping there'd be another one, little smaller one inside. Uh, yeah, they're, they're nuggets of pollen. That's a good way to describe it. They look like popcorn, but they're nuggets of pollen. Everyone on the MinMax show has been praising it. Great. It is deserving of that praise. <laughs> so these are just... Just for some nuggets. 
You know what I mean? There's no real incentive to push that book in. You get nuggets, but also it feels good to shove a book into place. Just like real life. Did we conclude our business down in here? We did. Okay. Yeah, that book does stick out. I bet you're right. Good looking out, chat. Oh my god. We doing 1986? My bet is 86. 68 is conceivable as well. All right, let's let's race, bro. Oh, I need a ticket. Okay. What I would like to do before we get down to our dirty business is a little more secret scouting. I feel like we definitely have enough to handle our business downstairs. So let's go handle that. Oh my god. The tardigrades are essential to whatever has happened to the story. Essential to the research, something happened with the tardigrades. We don't even use most of these shortcuts, right? They're just kind of fun to, uh, they're rewarding to unlock, just in case. Ooh, this actually seems like some late, late game shit. No doubt. No doubt, we will be using that bow late game. I doubt it. Okay. Doubt at your own peril, bro. We're going to use that bow to launch us back into space. I think we're good. I don't think there's actually any more secrets by that hat rack. I did not know the glide runs out. Hello? Ooh. Hello? We've actually been in there before. Yeah, I love this. I love this to death. Uh, okay, so next we're going to combine that wire to the safe, which should activate it, which should allow us to input the combination. 86, baby. Okay. 
That's the year I was born. Crucial year. Essential year. Oh no, I need to- oh shoot. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We might need to recall. No recall. Alright. Oh no. I wonder if you could do this without completing the uh, diploma. It might be an award, actually. Oh, it is an award. And that would explain the weird haircut on Abe Lincoln. Yeah, it was never a penny. It was an award that he later grew to despise. So it is something like a Nobel Prize. When I had German McDonald's, was I daring enough to try the German exclusive menu items? Most of them were uh, off the menu because it was too late. But I did have that chili wrap. You can't even get any kind of wraps at uh, US McDonald's. You can do it. That's what you did. Cool. So yeah, this symbol right there is the same of the medallion that we had earlier. That uh, Ardwin cracked. Ashamed of his deeds. Love a bit of lore. Just a bit. Just a bit. Nobody's forcing that lore onto us. We are choosing to engage in the lore. That's the tardigrade illustration right there. So this is the first we've seen of Arduin. Right there. Presumably. Crafting something. Cool. Hi, can I have a bubble? Yes! We're doing great. Um, what I'm curious about is... Yeah, there's a whole... Oh, that guy wanted the ticket for us to even get into the horse race. The car race. So I wonder if that's just something we come back and resolve later. I didn't see a ticket. We'll come back. Sweet. Good transfer. When I was in Tokyo in like 2007, McDonald's was running this promotion for some ghastly huge sandwich called the Mega Tomago. 
You know I would eat a Mega Tomago. I'm in. Have I gotten any Happy Meal Pokemon cards? Usually they're dupes. Oh, Cactus Crunch is a cereal. Damn. Theory debunked. Theory de theory de theory debunked. <laughs> The Great Cake. Really like those dragonfly eyes. Rise up! Rise up! Oh. Some of them sound like minions. It is possible they were voiced by French speakers. Can we get a KBS Rise Up emote? <laughs> Do you promise we'll have a lot of opportunities? So it's weird. It looks like I'm going to be helping that evil dragonfly create the cake. It looks like we're going to be gathering ingredients. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about this, Red Me. We're joining the wrong side here. Ooh, yellow! I can't even think of what yellow will do. What is that? They might need a very specific context, uh, sensitive scenarios to create those stairs. Oh, I forgot. Well, that was a good one. Hey, hey. <laughs> I we got that 20 minutes before I expected to. <laughs> I was prepared to hop on that guy for 20 minutes, man. Party Poopa, you know Party Poopa? I will. I'll fix everything. By empowering, oh nice, easy Gasper. You're evil queen.
You know, we've never had the Shamrock Shake in the UK. You feel robbed because mint ice cream is the best? That's so weird. What are these bugs that are tied up? What's happening here? They're cattle? I don't know, dude. They don't look that different from the dung beetles. My only concern for the yellows is that I think they will be obsolete by the time you have a bunch of greens. Wouldn't let me build greens on top of the haystack. Sponges. <laughs> I was wondering, like, why is this so blocky? Just a bunch of sponges. So cool. And those are flipped up sponges. Yeah, that's neat, bro. Get some more yellows. Oh yeah, let's check out town. Welcome to town. Definitely needed more greens. Happy to see you. Welcome to the crew. The jump shot. Is this like delivering papers? I think so. Cool. Cool. There we go. Post it up. So far, we have not had an opportunity to use our yellows. Yeah, Cactus Crunch is a cereal. <laughs> you gotta find your hat, bro. <laughs> I love that. I love it. Why is there a squishy burger just hanging out in the drawer? What are you thinking? What is this? What was that about? A dog toy? That's no dog toy. That's that squirts out mustard. If you have a dog toy that squirts out mustard, we'll talk. Ooh, I think that's gonna be our first use of yellow. Yeah, is it 38? Come on, man. Okay. Do we even have any blues? We got a few blues. How many do you need? 15, okay. I love this video game. The process the process of like just getting through a level is so fun. You just handle it any way you want. Making plans. Eat my crunch. <laughs> Great. We'll drop a rope. We'll drop a rope. Ow! Love a kitchen level. 
Always have. And Quintus had a kitchen level. Deep fried tortilla. Thanks for being a 26 month through. Princelet, this game has been beyond cool. This game has exceeded my expectations in every conceivable way. All right, so what do you want to attach to here, buddy? Okay. What did we do that for? Now, what'd you do that for? We'll find out. We'll find out. The time will come. For now, let it remain a mystery. They do sound like minions. Oh, we're three short. Okay. I'm not ready to do that yet. Who wins in a fight, Goten or Boruto? I think Boruto, uh, having not seen the show since the first time he were recommended it, I think Boruto is like godlike. He doesn't deserve the win, but he gets the win. It's just going to happen. <laughs> it's a nice adventure to be on with your tiny kin. We're really all on the same team here. Even the reds. Okay. So earlier I was talking about like asset fidelity, right? And how I feel like this game has the perfect graphical style for what it is. I do wish there was more than one cereal box. I could use some cereal variety. Ooh, there's one. Man, reds are so expendable, you just use them to unlock other colors. It's messed up. Where are all these yellows hiding, dude? What a toss! What a toss! What's up with uh, this creature? What's going on with you? Oh, you don't even talk. You're just like, you're the same thing as that cattle. God, I feel bad for those bugs. Um, We still got to get more clusters, though. We're doing poorly on yellows, but we're doing great on greens. Now, I actually wonder if um, you're meant to recall your yellows. There we go. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. 
Okay, so you are. You're definitely meant to recall them. Unlike the blues where you set it and forget it. The yellows, you're only going to get so much. How many annoying puzzles has this game had so far? Zero. Somehow I've been annoyed zero times playing this game. A true achievement. What's that a map of? Does anyone recognize this land area? Let's uh let's check in on it. Chat says it is France. We're still absolutely chuffed. We might and we might like you gotta realize Yabba Dabba Do is elation. We're doing about as good as we can. On the cusp of the Yabba. <laughs> Thank you for your sacrifice. Yeah, I guess we should start collecting ingredients. I'll tell the pinks to get on that flower. Oh, and you know who we need. So, firstly, let's get everybody back in the squad. Yeah. So the pinks can't get this flower to our baker. Are we one short? We're not. What happened there? We are. We're one short, dude. Dang. Uh, without the yellows creating bridges. Got it. What do you want? You want popcorn. Okay. Actual popcorn. Hey, hey, I missed that. You're going to play Bayonetta 3? Yeah, we'll probably stream Bayonetta 3. I think, I guess Bayonetta 3 is a one streamer. A one day, I mean. And I'll probably finish it off on my own. I played through all of Bayonetta 2 and didn't really come away with any strong feelings about it. I was obviously uh, much more into Tropical Freeze. <laughs> I do like that donut just hanging out in this wine rack. I'm not a character action guy, no, and I hate having my... Um, battles graded. <laughs> I hate having anything graded. So it would be like every level I finish would be like Joe Pesci crying. I would get the bronze statue. Not bronze. Well, like the stone statue. Oops. This level's really cool, dude. 
good kitchen level. Yeah, uh, I think we should start engaging with the MSQ. We're gonna build that cake. Maybe it'll be a cool thing where, like, everyone wants to share the cake. Maybe. Oh, they filled it up. Nice. What? Hey, hey. Okay. Oh, baby. I found your squad. I found your secret hideout. Fun. Still can't get up there from here. I'll find a way. I I will see them. I will see. <laughs> it's so cool to see the waterfall from up here, man. That's so awesome. It's just running down some poor dish towel. So cool. Did not mean to slip there. That was unfortunate. Should we check out the oven? Seems dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. But we're gonna need that for our cake. Find your stash, bro. Fee to pay <laughs> tax fraud. <laughs> Thanks for being a six month there. Just finished The Sandman. One of my favorite seasons of television ever. That's high praise. Sandman's on Netflix. How did I miss that one? Let's make sure I hit this. Just making sure. We got that one. Okay. I'm liking the tune here. Okay, so do we have enough pinks yet? Just enough. All right, yellows, you'll probably be essential here. We'll take care of that later. I have the time. Nice. <laughs> These villages are so cool. Did I like the Napoleon board game level in Psychonauts? I remember liking it. Chat could tell me otherwise. I was streaming the whole thing. I actually think that part was pretty cool.
All right, it sounds like the flower crew is done, but found more stuff to explore. It's a beaut, bro. The game's a beaut. It's a triumph. It's a triumph. You don't just make something like this. <laughs> you can't. You can't just make something like this. It's wild. Nice. Is that our first envelope? Do we dare? We do. Let's clean up around here first, but we dare, we dare, we dare. We're gonna go along the door. Over the door. We're doing it. It's gonna work. All right. He goes not an optimist. No! Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Not a feature. Not a feature. So we're going to have to find out where that flower is now. <laughs> I have no idea where it is. Nice. We have a strong army right now. Good looking crew. Oh no, Moss. I didn't appreciate the design of this thing before. The feeder. Or the cattle. So cool. Do you want the flower? Nah, I'll be patient. You know what I mean? We need eggs still. No rush. I actually wonder if I have enough yellows to build both bridges. We do. We got a lot of yellows right now. I don't think I lowered that yet. I don't think so either. We missed it last time. Alright, they're just gonna toss it into the bowl. I kinda wanna watch. Okay. We'll be patient. Yeah. 
Ew. Why has it got a splosh? <laughs> Great. Eggs? Handled. Hey, hey, nice. I'll be back in town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just drop something off for me, okay? Okay, because I've been playing so much Tony Hawk, I thought we were, like, promoting, a, like, a concert or something like that. That was not the case. That was just propaganda. We're really becoming part of the problem in this mission. Uh, Joe Jesse, Joe Star, thanks for being a 25 monther. We gotta. Okay. I was gonna just try to like toss my tiny kin at uh, those clusters, but there's a whole string of them. We could probably get back though. We can get back. Nice, dude. Thumb blister. Thanks for being a 20 monther. Last game that featured in your dreams that I could recollect. Ooh, no. Mm, no. That I can recollect. I'm struggling with that one. No, I don't care. I can't remember a game dream recently. Cool. God, there's so many options right now, too. Incredible. You had a dream of playing Cult of the Lamb with Matt Berry from What We Do in the Shadows. <laughs> cool dream. Kyle definitely dreams about the Avengers. Yeah, but that shouldn't count. <laughs> That's not fair to count that. Nice, the key. This is their corrupt meal. Ours now. When my heart goes boom. Probably for killing a certain amount of reds. <laughs> yeah, every everyone dreams of Avengers. That's a given. figured out what that's about. What are you? A chunk of ice. Okay. I think I'm going to have to jump immediately. No? Nope. Okay, we're fine. Wow. That took a lot. Breaking the ice. Cool. Okay. Okay. Doing good, doing great. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, we'll go right in here. Whose house is this? What are you harboring? Hey, hey. So neat, dude. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We're fine. We have a lot of bubbles now. You can just float forever. Guess I can. Okay, so one thing that is actually not clear to me in this lore is that symbol was indeed on the disc for the band The Tardigrades. But I can't fully figure out if the implication is that like, oh, it's just these bugs misunderstanding or if that symbol actually has any relevance to uh, the discoveries of Ardwin. We'll find out, we'll find out. What are you harboring? Yeah, we see it. We just don't know how to pop that bad boy open. Oh, if you give that creature its baby bottle pop, you'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Here goes nothing. <laughs> okay. Could have gone better. That could have gone better. A little too much height. Enough height. Man, five bubbles is living. Five bubbles is the life. You got six bubbles, brother. Six bubbles is the life. that thing's going to teach us about. You're up on a tall, tall secret, bro. What teach? What secrets do you have left to teach me? Wow, I really love this level. This level's enormous. Oh, the Forbidden Tunnel. Let's, uh, let's take care of this stuff. Oops, shit-daisy. Take care of this stuff. And then we'll go into the Forbidden Tunnel. Okay. Get in there with our letters. I guess we just go now. Let's pick this up. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Here we go. Come on, buddy. You got it. You got it. Easy. Easy get. Cool. 
There's our baby bottle pop. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Sonic the Hedgehog, dude. Didn't know you had it in you. Cause for a woo. Hey, buddy, I got your baby bottle pop. Ooh, no. This looks like bad lore. So there's this thimble again, right? On a bottle of poison? Looks like bad lore. Okay. What a uh, lock do I have? What lock can I unlock? I have... There it is, the fridge. Cool. Are we at Yabba levels? No, nah, it's still a chill Friday. We're happy to be where we're at. So cool. I do not expect to rise above chuffed. Are we gonna throw some yogurt into our cake? I believe so. Butter I get. Butter I get. Can the butter crew not come downstairs? No, we need more, one more yellow. So we gotta do this. I checked out the demo for this game last night and immediately fell in love. So glad you seem to be enjoying it too. Uh, yeah. It is uh, insane to me how good this game is. This game came out of nowhere. This isn't a sequel. This isn't like... This studio is known for making shit this good. They're just... uh. Nailed it in one. First try. Damn it. <laughs> All right, crew. So all of you, I need all of you actually. I need I need you pinks too. Okay. Yeah, so everybody's you cannot recall pinks who are uh holding a thing. So we just gotta find some more pinks somewhere. And we will, and we will. Did you ever play this team's first game? It's a few ex Ubi Arts people? No, I didn't what's their first game? I really thought this was their first game. 
Don't tell me their first game has a little canister with a heart in it. Flasher is the first game they made. Huh. No, I've never heard of that even. It's so good. Interesting. <laughs> oh, oh. Nice. Bonus yellows. Get that corn into our cake. been up there. Oops. Corn and cake? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not weird. Oh my gosh, I have such a deficit on pinks. Pink debt, bro. Pink debt. Where am I going to find some more pinks? I wish I could recall those other pink uh, crew from the task that they're currently struggling with. We might actually like be soft locked in a weird way. If we can't find more pigs, we're soft locked. Well, you know what we could do? We could just leave the level and come back. Yep, I think that's what we're going to have to do. Do I think this will appear in Easy A's goatee discussion? Mmm, I don't know. It's a good question. And, you know, you get it if you play it. And if you don't, you're like, yeah, this seems like a cute game. <laughs> yeah, they'll give this best seven. Great. So the butter is there. Perfect. Not a soft lock. Do not write up that bug. My boss would be mad. yogurt crew. There we go. <laughs> We're going to have to do all this over again for the butter. So cool, dude. Oops. Ow! They just kept working without me. Not a big deal. What do we need to microwave? The yogurt, probably. The corn, of course. That guy wanted popcorn in that cup.
the noises they make are so nice, dude. game rules um how do i help you all down from there though here we go got it i was wondering about that i was like could i destroy the bridge while they're on it you could not Is that the way to the microwave? It's the way they want to go. Okay. Please tell me I don't microwave my drinks. No, but I will definitely microwave a yogurt from time to time. What's this? So funny, you're supposed to notice it at the beginning of the level. I'm gonna toss it into the cake. Seems like we could use some sugar in this. Okay, so we definitely do have enough yellows for both sides of this bridge, which is nice. What flavor yogurt we're talking? Uh, I uh, like I just look for like the creamy kind. So if it's just like a creamy, like creamy strawberry. Oh, now you can toss it, huh? Like a creamy blackberry. <laughs> That's very silly. That will not work in real life if you try it. So where was Popcorn Cup? I feel like it was somewhere in that restaurant area. Let's try there first. I'm going to check through town first. Not here. Okay. Is it right here? It is. Nice. Easy breezy, baby. Huge. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Uh-oh. This look that looks like the final boss, bro. All right, we're doing great on our quest. Uh, we need to handle the butter. There's a huge issue in that I do not have the final envelope. Have I ever drunk pork water? If that's a serious question, my answer is no. If we're still just, you know, doing memes out here. Sha. 
I put pork water in most of my coffee. Final envelope, dude. How could I have missed it? Ooh, look what I see down there. All right, so let's go check out that farm while the corn crew makes this climb. Okay, uh, I'm gonna hold out hope that like another thing opens up. You know what I mean? We still got we, we still got a lot of like closed cupboards and stuff. There's reason to hope. Uh, it was so cool to see the butter toss from here. Making us a cake like you've never seen before. Mm hmm. On our way. oven. So strong. Great. <laughs> You're cute. Game. You're cute. That celebration music was a little weak, right? Thank you! Odwin. Guide me, Odwin! We're short on some clusters, bud. We're short on some clusters. Which means it's not just an envelope, it's a whole little area yet to discover. These boxes were weird. It's weird that there's the, that uh, cupboard system right there and then just walled off boxes. That would be the next thing I'd want to check out. Uh, I will buy another bubble while I'm here in town, though. What are some of your favorite games without combat? Great question. Wow. Um, oh my god. I don't know if Stray counts, chat. Tetris counts. Tetris is probably my favorite game without combat. Which isn't to say that Tetris is non-violent. Right. 
Right, look, look how stacked up these cupboards are. You're hiding something, you cupboards. We're not hiding nothing. They're not hiding nothing. Okay. Edith Finch is a wonderful pick, chat. I love Edith Finch. Great pick. Um, so we have to consider it could be a, a secret room, but it could also just be like a regular room I overlooked. Look at the scale of this bad boy, man. This is wild. I'm gonna try this way. How fun is it to have that much glide? Toad Mario Golf Toadstool Tour is a great pick. No combat. Unless you're taunting. <laughs> the second you press the taunt button, that becomes a combat game. Kyle, you walked past it a lot. That's what I'm scared of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, we never lowered that that uh wait down there right we talked about that that's gonna be something Ooh, what's it what's in what what the hell did you all see a freaky eye Oh, brother. If this game's gonna take a turn... Okay, I'm okay. I'm alright. <laughs> I'm alright. I'm good. In fact, I'm very good. That is so cool. So it wasn't a dish rag. It's actually a tube system. <laughs> Made of straws. That keeps the waterfall flowing. Super Milo Bros. Why would you do that? Okay, so there's one secret. It was not where the envelope was. But it feels good to conclude that. Bro, that eyeball. <gasps> there it is! Oh my god! Oh my god! Let's start throwing stuff at that. So it definitely looks mechanical, right? It looks like we're being observed by a camera. Can you go down the sink drain? I can try that. Can't get the angle. being observed. You cannot. Not sure about the letter I missed, but you think it's all I'm missing? Mm. 
Because we would get a golden thing just for uh, turning in that letter. You're right. Okay, where would that letter be? One thing I'd like to double check is the uh, corrupt restaurant. I wonder if I didn't explore that enough. Would I be upset if it turns out I'm not miniature and the world is just huge? Yeah, we're not going that way though. <laughs> there's There's been plenty of hints to the contrary. So my answer is yes, I'd be very dis I, I would feel misled. Looking for an envelope chat. Okay. It's gonna be in here. Perhaps the fridge. Perhaps this corrupt restaurant. We're gonna find it. That was cool, the camera eye. <laughs> eh. So far the game hasn't stepped into a freaky secret like that yet, you know? So far they haven't dared. I wonder if there's one in every level. Was there something under the kitchen dining table, high up from the floor, but below the table? I can check that for sure. Let me do one last swoop of the bridge. And then we can check out downtown again. Fridge swoop! Would I rather see Tinykin 2 take place at a zoo or a museum? Fantastic question. Uh, give me the museum. All right, we gotta get back upstairs. Time for us to take our tea bubble. Play Vex? There's a lot of scale to those levels. Vex the hairy monster? The hairy claw guy with sideburns. That level has a nice scale, or that game has a nice scale to its levels. Complicated matter getting this thing home.
Okay. That is appealing to me. Chat has talked up Vex a couple of times before. So has Ryan Stevens of GameTrailers.com. It's hard for me to get past that game design or character design. That was a path. Vex has Ryan Stevens vibes. <laughs> hey, we're doing great on this game. You missing some popcorn? We got it all. We got a trophy for it. Good time for a break? Okay, yeah, we could take a break right there. Let's check out our museum, obviously, but then, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think he's building a robot head. You think? <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think we're building a good thing. Yeah, this is troubling. May Ardwin forgive me for such an insult, but one does not need to be a museum cur curator to know that this is a drawing of a more no, that this drawing is more of a scribble or a sibilin sketch. That's the final boss, dude. It's holding a pencil. I wonder if this is like what he turned into at one point. Look at it holding a pencil. <laughs> Seems to have been made hastily or fearfully. Oh no. Those eyes. It's the same eyes. I must say that I have heard certain reports and rumors of individuals feeling observed or hearing strange sounds in the walls. Be careful. It's those eyes. Your eyes. All right, what's the deal with this poison, bro? Never open the restrained chaos. Alright, so now I think it's kind of a transformative goo. I don't think it's poison. I think it's transformative goo. What lies in this container is the ultimate evil. It remains the remains of an insidious weapon. The last drops of the restrained chaos. But it must be preserved at all costs. An antidote cannot be created without the poison. Oh, okay. One day I will succeed. Good lore. have eyes so one two three things left it is highly likely there is only one more level obviously we only need one more component for our robot head uh but you'd have to expect there'd be a level after that perhaps but i mean look at look at our situation here one more jar to fill We'll see. We shall see. 
I'm expecting a level after that, but I'm expecting it not to be huge, I guess. We still got to do that race. We got a soap race to have happen. Of course. So yeah, we'll check out the we'll take our quick break and then we'll check out that last level. Very curious to see where we're going. We're going to the park. All right, chat, ready? We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back. Oh, that's a good stretch. Holy shit, I've been I've been in the zone with this game. This is one of those streams where I'm just like playing a game I love, you know? Will this the secret last level have a useful nook? So far this game is full of nooks. Good nooks. You need to take a peek at what's coming? Why would you do that? Don't take Shabello, do not peek at what's coming. Be delighted. Allow yourself to feel delight. All right, see y'all soon, chat. We're back, baby. Happy Friday to you all. How's Cat? He's great. He was, he's been yelling at me every single break. Every single chance he gets today, he's been yelling at me. So he's, uh, he's enjoying his midnight snack right now. Drinking pork soda? I do not own any pork soda.
Turn off noise canceling so we can hear him. Well, now he's got his mouth full of food. Oh, here we go. Okay. Time to race. Nice shortcut. I would I would have been happy to travel this way. What the heck? How did you afford this ticket? Something not right about this hairy moth, man. So the final level is an amusement park. Good God. It's a kid's room full of toys. Mm. Mm. It does suggest a bit of darkness considering what happened to the Professor Ardwin. And who that funeral flower was for. But for now, let's just enjoy some silly toys. It's a doorknob. got it oh my god oh my god these levels are insane It feels like a really good Mario level setup, right? I wish. Okay, we're actually, we're going back. We're going our own way. Taking our own path. Did we hit Yabba Dabba? Oh, because of this world? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. You don't Yabba Dabba too early. It's what I'm. It's truly like when I realized that this game never frustrated me once that's crazy think of all the times i was yelling at kirby calling it bullshit <laughs> kirby there's still time yep there's still time no doubt That's why we gotta preserve the Yabba Dabba. Uh, we do not have enough greens to get up there, but we'll keep it in mind. We'll keep it in mind. Fun to traverse, man.
Oop, okay. Yellows, you say? All right. Do you think we'll get a new Tinykin color? Ooh, I have zero peaks. <laughs> Cute little glow-in-the-dark toys. Normally we find it pretty early in the level. I did go off course. I do feel like this level was definitely steering us in a direction. And I said I refuse to be steered. So we'll see. Really cool toy house, dude. Okay, there's our post office. Glad we found it. <laughs> so gross under here, I love that. That guy's back. That guy? What's he doing back here? What's going on, brother? Thanks for coming back. It's sweet. He just, he needs breaks too. Sometimes Mucho just needs to step out. <laughs> Good Debbie. That's a dream in Debbie. We caught you dreaming, Debbie. want to take that bad boy though. At least we got our shortcut. This is the first level maybe in a long time where they just said straight up here's all your objectives. This is everything you need to finish this level. And you know so far to this point I've been just like hey, I'll figure it out. Cool. I'll get there. <laughs> Great, we needed some pinks. Happy to have you. I am feeling discouraged about the prospect of there being a new tiny can for this level. It's pretty cute they decided to live in these homes. This is a uh, theme park though. Yeah, I wonder. Are they living in here or just visiting?
Oh, 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 no. I love these bug homes. I love these bug homes. Heineken 2 takes place in a car wash? The whole game? Ah! That's a tough sell, Buster. You could do a level in a car wash. Getting a lot of blues. Needed greens, bad. Ooh, how many do you expect to need outlet? 28. We actually have that much. And then so. Okay. Let's see what kind of path we're drawing into where. There's where we need to take the alligator to. All the way through there. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Nice. That was kind. They're having a hard time on these stairs. This game's awesome, man. Can't praise it enough. Bard wouldn't be praised. Missed that little cupcake the first time. Yeah, Pigs, we need you. We need you on this team. I just ate six tacos and I want more. Do I indulge or save for later? Great question. I save. You know, normally I'm gonna invite advise indulgement. I'm always talking about indulgement. Or tapped. But sometimes our dumb bodies don't realize when they're actually full. I'd give it a sec. I like the idea of a circus that just has a cat. And now, the cat. Tacos are better the fresher they are. So you're saying there's a time limit on the tacos. I get that too. <laughs> cool.
Okay, cool, 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 cool. Wow, this level is so nice, dude. Spinosaurus. Good call out. Great. <laughs> the weights are nice. I think it's about momentum. You don't have to permanently weigh them down. You just weigh them down once, and then it's just like, you know what? You're right. You're right. I'm good. I'm up. I think I've done more than six tacos in one sitting multiple times in my life. Where do you want to connect to? 30. We don't have enough. Can't pay that bill. Where do you even want to go, dude? That'll be a wild one. I wonder if it wants to connect to like a train. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Nice. realize we're running low on reds. We're officially low on reds, bro. To be honest, these are relatively small tacos. Okay, you know what? Eat the damn tacos. It's time. We waited long enough. If you still want them after this amount of time, it's taco time. We're gonna start a war. Chug those tacos. <laughs> uh-huh, and you're gonna want a cannonball, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Twenty. I think the noise the whoopee cushion makes is more tasteful than it could have been. You know what I mean? It could have been much worse. Not at all upset about it. Okay, well, we got one of these things. Oh, we're just gonna pop some balloons. We're not gonna start a war. We're just gonna pop some balloons. Checking out the backdrops, dude. So cool. We're gonna be on those planets. We're gonna be on that spaceship. I'm just having a great time in this level right now, you know? Just kind of wandering around. Feeling things out. Hey, hey. Alright. We'll pop the rest. We will. Uh, like the the question is, do you go that way or do you, let's go? Let's just take things simple. We are ordinary people. Yeah, I love greens. Uh huh. Great. See those planets? You can go there. That's what this whole game feels like. Unrestrained. The game is unhinged. 
Holy shit. We got a healthy stack of greens right now. Okay. That will matter later. Doesn't matter right now, but it will matter later. What are we in right now? What is this? It's like a play tube just put vertically? I'm out of reds. Actually, out of reds. Yeah, it is a play tube. Vertically stacked. Okay. They said it would never happen. Out of reds. Alright, so we gotta remember to go back to the top of that tube. More reds on the wings. Let's get that. Yeah, you can kind of appreciate that thing more here. Okay, yeah, we'll do some uh, Donkey Kong Jr. vine swinging. We're on board for that. So smug. Oh, oh. We'll do it now. We'll do it now. We'll do it now. Wow, I thought see that mountain go to there was a legitimate quote from uh, Skyrim marketing. Is that not the case? Is this revisionist history chat? Finding the origin now. Okay, let us know. There's nothing this chat hates worse than fake memes. Craze says it is the case. So cool. This is our first real chance to see the exterior. The earth looks okay to me. <laughs> cool. There will be something that... Uh, we're not done with that T-Rex yet. We have not seen the last of that T-Rex. Happy to have a healthy slate of reds again. Do we like this song? It's 
See that mountain? You can climb it is a quote associated with Todd Howard and the video game Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. The quote originated from early Skyrim presentations during E3 2011, where the gameplay of Skyrim was shown. So 2011, that stuff was broadcast. Yeah, I wonder if we're talking like, if the quote was attributed to him in an in interview or, You know what I mean? Like they printed it in a magazine. It's the kind of thing you say all day as you're giving presentations to journalists. Or if he said that on stage. It was a presentation on stage. Copy that. All right, the fake meme police can uh, rest easy. No arrests tonight. I would love to, if, if he said it on stage, I would love to hear the direct quote. Yeah, it's crazy. A lot of that stuff's actually not easy to find. Love the sound effect. A lot of, like, stuff that was definitely broadcast live is just gone from the internet. And you gotta rely on just some channel's upload of it. Re-upload. Talking about, like, Microsoft press conferences. Fake meme police peaked when they closed the case on Miyamoto and delayed games. <laughs> There's a big case for the, for the fake meme police. Kind of case that can make your career, you know? You gotta get me on that case. I know we never said that. I know it. Get me on that case. What's funny is that it basically, it turned out to be a matter of just like a bunch of magazines reading each other. <laughs> um, all right, must be true. We'll put it in our magazine now. Learned Fingers, I'm freaking loving this game. This is the ideal video game. This is the prototype. Okay, so do we push toward the bookshelf or do we, we clean up, we clean up, we clean up. Gotta clean up. So the studio made one other game and chat said it's something called like slime balls. I found all I could find is a video of him saying you can walk all the way up to the top of that mountain. Gosh, then where did the cadence come from, right? Where did the see that thing? You can go to there. Where did that come from? Technically untrue. Uh uh.
Maybe internet paraphrasing. Right, like, uh, you love me, you really, really love me, or Luke, I am your father. But it's like, who popularized it? Are there battles like Pikmin? No. No, it's pretty carefree uh, combat-wise. You're never penalized for, like, dying. It's mostly about the 3D platforming. It's much more of a 3D platformer than, like, a strategic Pikmin, Pikmin game. Oh, 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 oh. The Bethesda subreddit says he never said it. Whoa. This is a really good mystery for the fake meme police. <laughs> This is nice. This is delayed input next week. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find the first Mimi streamer who said it. That's the entrance. So we almost did a full clockwise spin of the level, but obviously like looking down there, there's still more to clean up. Nice, we're doing great on envelopes. That feels nice. I spent multiple hours last stream trying to find Kyle talking about big burly blonde butlers. I can't do another internet search like that again. <laughs> Woojack, was it you who ended up finding it too? The very origin of big burly blonde butlers was discovered. The first time it was ever said out loud. It was you, great. Yeah, that was a massive discovery. The legendary sword, oh cool. Forsooth, whomever wishes to slay yon terrible beast who dwelleth in yon fortress must wield that blade. Okay, let's kill that T-Rex. Midway through Dragoon? No, it was, um... I was pitching... Uh, I was talking to people about what I'd be streaming next week, right? Like I do it like a fr end of a Friday. It's like, okay, so next week we got this coming up, this coming up, this coming up. And I was talking about Skies of Arcadia. And in that moment, I suddenly remembered a dream. And I said, I had a premonition. Our next party member is going to be a big burly blonde butler. Am I one short? No way. No way. There we go. Here's the presentation. He dances around saying it exactly, but mentions mountains and walking a lot. Chad, if he mentions if he dances around saying it, he never said it. Which just means it was like, you know, some sarcastic podcaster or somebody who got us to believe that that was the phrase. We're gonna kill that T-Rex. Go ahead, go ahead. It's 
cool looking sword too. It was Damiani, man. If it turns out it was Damiani, <laughs> he will pay for his crimes. Okay. We might have to connect this electricity before we can. Yep. Yup. Doug Flutie, you play Tinykin too? Yup. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. How many do you need? 18? Child's play. Huge shortcut? No, you're thinking wrong. Okay. I'm thinking I should have taken a huge shortcut of up this ramp, perhaps? Yeah, we're not gonna make it. Game, not this again, not this again! Okay, okay, okay. Let me solve this puzzle. Oh. That in that mountain is not just a backdrop. You can walk all the way to the top of that mountain. Who said see that? But who said see that? Whose Todd Howard impression incorporated the see that? It was not me. I would never. I would never. It was not me. Okay, the path seems clear for the rest of this way. Let's see what these little critters do to that poor T-Rex. Gersman's a good theory. I feel like Giant Bomb has the spread and influence for a Gerstman bit to become canonical. <laughs> for that to become like, oh yeah, obviously that's word for word what Todd Howard said. Oh! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get this trophy. Let's save. Close game. Start it up. No true origin. Oh, so Eurogamer legit wrote an article about finding where see those started. It has an origin. Somebody said it first. Somebody spread that. The article's about other stuff. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. Last time that worked. Last time we just uh, reset, reset and it cleaned things up for us. 
I don't think we've even talked to this community yet. Cute. These games are the worst. <laughs> Dab. Intentional or not intentional? Ooh. We're about to do some backdoor gambling, I think. This thing is nostalgic for me. I love these. Just a downright good toy. A fake cash register. I don't mind them uh, carrying around this trophy everywhere we go. It feels nice. So, where did I open that door? Where did I open the door? We touched that card. And it opened a door to a secret back door. Oh, there it is. There it is. The Milo Show. Uh-oh. What's that say? We gotta write that down. Write that down, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. Um, it goes deeper. Here's an old NeoGAF thread from 2014 that claims Nintendo 64 Magazine said it about Ocarina of Time. I remember reading N64 Magazine's review and there was a picture of the mountain from Hyrule Field and the caption said, see that mountain there? You can actually go to it, climb all the way up and fight a dragon. That image just stayed with me. Well, that's easily refutable. N64 Magazine has to be, like... Online. It's gotta be scanned. There's something else interesting in this room. Okay, chat. I just started exploring it. <laughs> Take it easy, bro. Yeah, Volvagi is a dragon. P9 out here think I'm just gonna like look at that sign and leave. Like I'm gonna ignore all this all these clusters of honey oats. Clusters of horny cells. <laughs> this game has no horny cells. Not an issue in this game. Yeah, it's like hitting me at an angle. There we go. Yeah, we need LKB to decipher this. That is that the same word that's down here? Oh, there's another word there. Cool, and you can actually see where the eyes were. Yeah, that's where that pan was. So you could basically... All right, well, remember that. It's opposite of the um, Ferris wheel. All right, I think the things in the 
uh, that are the lines and dots are numbers. Because they don't appear anywhere else, right? We have these nice curves. Uh, so I feel like that's a numerical system. Uh, I'm tempted to think a check mark is the letter E. If you've got a five letter word that's blank X, blank, blank X, I feel like E is a really good guess for what that would be. Let's run it. Let's, let's move forward with that theory that the check mark is E. Father of Eunice, thanks for being a 24 month or congrats on two years. Different word, actually, right? But it also ends in E. Oh, there's so many. There's so many words the whole way. Okay, game. We're doing ciphers, yeah. I, um, so far, my theory is that The weird dots and lines are numbers, and that a, a regularly facing check mark is the letter E. That's all I got. Let's see. Let's look at the other letters. Let's look at let's look at the other stuff that we got. I did find a Watt pad from 2010 that has the joke, "See that mountain over there? It's 3000 feet above sea level. When you're on top, you don't have to smoke. You're already high." That's the first example of the phrase, "See that mountain over there." In history. All right. So here's our first word. Two words. The uh, double dot line is kind of new. I don't think we see that very often. The N we see a lot. And we have to determine if the two slanted lines is two letters or one. I'm tempted to think that's one letter. Our character's name is Milo something. Milo Dane. So nothing there would indicate Milo Dane. Okay, uh, a, a rectangular door is the letter N. That says warning up top. Let's, let's get, let's do this, dude. We got you. The cipher has begun. That says warning. You're busted, bro. You're busted wide open now. Okay, so U is W. Weird check mark is an A. N is R. And then N, <laughs> sorry, open door is N. 
I gotta be consistent. Slash like that is I. And then G is a window. We got you now. We got you now. Um, so going by that, the first word would be R E blank I blank E. Rev no, they're two different letters. Oh, you're right. It's the wrong slash. It's the wrong slash. Yep, yep, yep. So that would not be an I. Okay, 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 okay. Intruder? Would that fit? INT. Yeah, I think that's intruder. I think the second word is intruder on the bottom. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. So now I know what N looks like. Oh, you stupid cypher. You're in trouble now. Now that I know what a T looks like, you're busted wide open. Okay, so an eyeball is a T. Um, v is U. D is an O. And then ER we already have. Um, something intruder. We don't have a sideways window yet. We don't have the that forward slash, and we don't have like a the cross. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, stand by, chat. We're gonna uh, g give me a, give me another second. Give me another second here. Just give me uh, give me one one more second. Uh. I wonder how high these go. Okay, 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 okay. We're going to try to figure out what that T is. So that word is blank E. Uh, we got a hump, which is an R. Uh, A. Doorway is N. S open circle is D. And then weird check is A. Veranda? So the T, the cross is the V. No, it might be Miranda because we actually already have V. I think that T might be an M. Sorry, the cross might be an M. Melinda Lou is an excellent callback. Miranda is an insect. Oh, really? Okay. Let's let's move forward with the theory that the cross is an M. Because we had a cross over here, right? Yeah. R E blank blank M E. Resume intruder? Read. Remove intruder feels more likely. So veranda. Let's move forward with the veranda theory. Oh, you know what? I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. U is V. We don't have a V yet. Yep. So, it says veranda. The cross is t the letter T and not the letter. Okay. Remove intruder. No doubt. So, M is that crazy sideways window. And then we have O, which is the other slash. Hell yeah. Okay. So, going by this... R, E, we don't have W. Uh, slash going that way is O. The N is R, and that is a T. Report. Okay, so a W. You see the little W on the far left? That's what a P looks like. I 
I don't know if I can do the word above report. We need more letters there. Um, let's look down at these again. Living room you got up there? L-I-V... Oh, they're all going to be rooms, aren't they? Because the N is definitely... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That's definitely the word room. Um, so that check mark is E. That little cat knows we don't have. We got the sideways box, which is M. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's definitely more words ahead. We'll go back and find those. Um, I. Crazy M is... Oh, we don't have a crazy M. Damn. I. T. I. O. N. Okay, so it's like E blank M I blank Ishin room. Yeah, you got it, Vic Radler. What what word fits there? Like uh, so, Oh my gosh, like M blank M sorry, E blank M I blank Ishin. That's a weird one. Room. We could probably get some of these. The question is whether you think that's a, a box or the door that we have for the letter N. You are E. Elimination? No, it ends in ishin. It ends in examination. That seems more correct. Examination room. Uh, but we already have A. And A's not in there. We don't have the weird double triangle, but we do have AA. Oh boy. I'm feeling less certain that a backwards check mark is the letter A right now. Warning remove intruder we got actually, yeah. Which which gives us that gives us the A back. A backwards check mark is a letter A. So what letter on what word on Earth has two A's in a row that you see the two backwards check marks here. Yeah, that's tricky. Let's go back down to some of these words. We got we got more potential. So we see veranda there, right? What do we have for this bad boy? We do not have... Okay, buddies. Okay, buddies. Okay, buddies. <laughs> um, blank. I, V, I. That's living room. Got it. That's living room. Yep, yep, yep. That one is absolutely living room. So, L is the weird double dot. And then every other word here we've letter we figured out already. Yep. Cool. All right, so that says living room.
The cipher is easy to reverse to fool you? What do you mean by that? Oh, it's impossible to tell if they're forwards or backwards. How come? Should we just do the ones in this room? Let's just keep let's keep doing the ones in this room. We're making good progress on these, and then we can look into the uh, the lab some more. This is a fun excursion, bro. Okay, do we have the M? We don't have the M yet. Well, we got A. T N R O O M Okay, so I think that's a box. You know what? That is not the same as the doorway. That's not an N. No way. So that's a straight up square. Um so what kind of room has A and T in the middle of it? And also, I'm concerned that the dot matters for the T. Bathroom. It says bathroom. So we got B and H now. Bathroom, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Here we go. So the crazy, stupid M is actually a B. And then H is a flat square. A perfect square. Do not get it confused with N. Cool. Let's keep going upstairs. And then we can figure out more of the stuff that's uh, in the glass. Music's so serious now. Um, yeah, that's our bathroom. All right, so this does not end with room. We don't have the double pyramids yet. Um, that's an I. T. We don't know that triangle. We do know a perfect square is H now. Check mark is E. And that seems to be an N at the end. Kitchen. This is kitchen. So K is the double pyramid. Good shit, chat. You're on the same page there. And then C is the play button. Great. This is a fun secret area, brother. This looks like another room. Uh, starts with B, bedroom. Uh, we have all those letters. We're good there. No real mystery to that one. Alright, so now we're going to go back in and check on those monitors. Bro. Crazy. I really think that's the end of this room. I think you were supposed to go in and get that cluster. Okay. Let's do it, bro. Okay. So, knowing what we know now, can we do that word above report? Uh, we don't have that TT, but we do have the check mark. So, E, uh, C, U. R I security report. We finally got our S. Okay, so that weird T, the double T is the letter S. We also have the letter Y now, which is uh, the A without the line in the middle. Security report is what it says on the far left. Warning, remove intruder. The kitty knows is X. Uh, from what? Exhibition room, of course. It's the exhibition room. Okay, cool. 
kitty knows is X. And we got all the other letters there. Cool. Let's get down to business down here then. All right. M. A. R. V. Marv. I. And then that weird shape. Okay, let's go with the reverse theory. Let's go with the reverse theory then, right? Uh, so, the check marks there would not be E's, they would be A's. So it would be A, R, uh, which V was that? U, A. And if that's a box, it would be H. And if it's a rectangle, it would be N. It doesn't make, the, that word doesn't make sense either way. The one with the check marks. This one's weird, man. names with a comma after them? I guess they would. I guess that could be true. I guess that little thing could be a comma and not its own symbol because then it would be Marvin. It would just it would just legit say Marvin on top. The next one would be um K A A N. It would be Khan. And then the one after that would be A B A T H V is U <laughs> Apex T bath. Uh, uh like Abathor. Yeah, it would be Abathor. Okay, I'm buying this. I'm buying Marvin. Khan and Abathor. You're right. And so that weird little symbol just represents a comma. I like that. 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 The word right after that is so weird to me. V is U. R. U. R. E. E. U. R. E. So weird. Uh, whether that's... It's hard for me to tell. I think that's a square, right? So that, that would be Hewer. H-E-U-R-E. Hewer. That's French for hour? No. No. And we did see French France before. Oh no. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Neat. Cool. Chat, we did it. Why is this called the exhibition room though? That's so wild. Observation schedule, yeah. Crazy. Okay. Veranda. <laughs> we have not yet seen the veranda. We still need F, J, Q, and Z. That is correct. W we have. It's the, it's a U. W is a U that is, looks curved. 
That was fun. That one was the living room. Okay, cool. That was wild. Our quaint little adventure took a turn. Yeah, we're probably going to push through the end tonight. I realized that was a major detour. We just added a half hour onto the stream, but yeah, we'll push through. It was worth it, though, yeah. 100%. So, I've not done anything in the middle of the stage, you know what I mean? There's a lot of this stuff we have yet to discover. Hey, hey! We know what goes there. Lucky. Spending that much time on that made a developer very happy. <laughs> it's not right making hour in French. That would have thrown me off for an eternity, dude. Good alien names, though, huh? Well, except for Marvin. <laughs> You're right. Marvin's a bad alien name. But Khan is great, and Abathor is excellent. Uh-oh. Look what we missed. Dude, we could float for eternity. You're right, not a big whoop. Great. Con from Star Trek? Yeah, but that has the H. If it's just AA, that's like, uh, James Kahn. <laughs> um. Did we do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they killed the T-Rex. Right. Okay. We So we did that. Uh, let's, uh, let's go up. I agree. Ooh, James Conn is with a C. Theory debunked. Theory de theory de theory debunked. Scott Conn from Entourage. It's all connected. Is that E? Is Scott Conn E? Chat's all-time favorite HBO series character. OMG, no. Okay, what is the name of the actor who plays E? Sorry, I always get this wrong, chat. Kevin Connolly. It's a name I never would have come up with, but one of those names you hear and know is correct. <laughs> you know, you're like, okay, yeah, that's right. That man is named Kevin Connolly, no doubt. Look at our scar. It's a little lightning bolty. Okay, while you're all doing that, I should I should get more secrets. It's so cool seeing your tiny kin in the distance break down and fly straight at you.
Kevin Connolly. When is Kevin Connolly joining the MCU? Uh, so I heard a chime. I feel like they just dropped that bit of road right where it goes. They might not need more. Hey, hey. Huge. All four envelopes. Not at all the case, Kyle. What can we discern from that weird alien room? Uh, so we are the descendants of humanity. Those who came from planet Aether. Ooh, it's not Aether. What was it? So I want to believe that those are actually full-grown humans. Ages. Yep. I feel like the aliens, they're not aliens. I feel like they're full-grown humans. But we'll find out really soon. Because I feel like... Uh, the eyeball creature might be a boss. We'll see. Or it might just be like crazy background lore. I can never seem to wake up in time to watch more. I'm sorry, Esco. The game's been great. The game has been a consistent wonder. Okay, they're taking it here. Oh yeah, they're just gonna finish this track right now. Cool. Looking back at the screenshot, it looks like the exhibition room was intended to showcase the house shown in the viewer in the center of the room. Does that make sense with lore? Yeah. Right, that car's up there. We didn't have enough people to lift it. I think that works. I think you're just meant to like go in and chill and watch. And I think we were just like between time. I think just nobody was on shift currently. Or they're all dead. Maybe they all died. Hey, hey. All right, where was the car, dude? This is, I love this moment in a huge level like this where it all becomes kind of small. Oh yeah, I did want to do more stuff up top. Where you actually have a pretty good grasp on where things are and where you should be going. And you're like, oh yeah, this spot. Ooh, should we do that now? Yeah, I wonder if we have enough blues. We have 33 and you would like 30. Okay, here goes nothing. High stakes. Like, oh no. Okay, you're good, you're good. You're not good. All right, can I call you back? I think we did, I think we did. Great. No, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. Halfway there. High stakes, brother. Oh no. 
But you know, a nice thing about this is like it's not it's not like you're timed. You can take your time, get your measurements right. Enormous. Enormous. Train's going, baby. Do I like the James and the Giant Peach movie? Why are you asking about that? I haven't seen it since elementary school. But yeah, I really loved it. It made me read a book. <laughs> there was a time where I was like, hell yeah, I gotta read that book. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Chances of Sheldon in multiverses. I think they're honestly pretty low. Roll doll for the win. <laughs> you know what? Roll doll FTW. Okay, we do it. We gotta get all the circus animals back. Where they go belong. But yeah, another th what I really want to do is uh, explore the skies, dude. Sorry, team. Roald Dahl was unfortunately very racist and sexist? No. Roald. Want to hear about HP Lovecraft? No. <laughs> but HP Lovecraft was never a sweetie. HP Lovecraft is easily ignorable. Why are you going this whole way? We were just right by the track. We were right there. Okay, maybe we gotta take it this way. This is fun. This is from an article on BBC called The Dark Side of Rolled Doll. All right, get those repairs done. Or do you need me to find a tire? He made no attempt to hide his anti-Semitism. In 1983, he announced in the New Statesman that Hitler had his reasons for exterminating six million men, women, and children. Oh, no. Rolled. That's how you get on the blacklist. Can I get an Oya for getting my first ever one-sixth scale figure yesterday? No Oya until you tell us. You're wild for thinking we were not going to be curious what figure it is. Okay. So now that it's fixed up. <laughs> so this is this is busy work that I could absolutely leave the team behind and go like see other things and deal with other tasks. But I kind of like like engaging with this. Dark Trooper from Mandalorian. One sixth scale. You gotta know, yeah. Oh yeah. That's a really interesting pick, Deadly Zebra, because the Dark Troopers don't have any history yet, you know? I like that pick a lot. Roadrunner.
<laughs> that cool race car be? Alonza! Shumi! I didn't realize that would end the level. We got a lot more work to do. <laughs> Slot cars are so annoying. It's a practice and restraint. Scott Pack, let's see what's going on in chat. Oh my god. Yeah, Vostal. That comment right there is like a bannable offense. Unless you can pull off an elegant 180, we gotta say bye bye after a comment like that. <laughs> we, we do not need that shit in chat. All right, we can't take the thingy yet. We gotta finish this level first. Should be easy now. Right, right, right. We can, uh, we can climb up. Is that a Joy-Con analog stick? It's a doorknob. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna say that it was a coincidence that we saw the word dab made out of blocks earlier. Oh, I forgot about this cannonball stuff too. There's so much left to do. We gotta get all those dinosaur, sorry, animals back to the zoo. We gotta get a bunch of clusters out of there. Let's do a quick little zippy zip here. to me. There we go. We had to land first. Right. You're going to want a baby bottle pop. Okay. 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 To the glide to the great tower. We can do that. We got six. Yeah, Chad, we gotta move on. I, I feel like sometimes somebody just says, like, dumb shit. I truly believe Vostal was just saying dumb shit, but, like, at the same time, you can't let the dumb shit happen. <laughs> you know? You gotta stop it right dead in his tracks. This game is indeed cute. Okay. Can we make it? Here we go. Hmm, I feel like I waited too long for the double jump. No, we're good. Sweet. Good glide. Did I see the One Piece noodle commercial with Zoro? No. 
Oh, you're not just gonna give it to me, are you? Okay. All right, all right, all right. There's that elephant. Okay, so you want me to destroy the asteroids? Yeah, this is a level six. Like you couldn't have gotten there without being level six. Okay. This is wild, brother. This is the ultimate challenge of your gliding. Yep, I dig it. I definitely could have uh, bought our final glide bubble before coming up here. I do regret that. Oh, he won't do it there. Okay, okay. We can slow this. And I knew this gliding was coming. I didn't think I didn't think this would be so uh, gliding intensive. We knew we'd be coming to the asteroids. But no, I did not think it would be this intense. So can we get to that tambourine without being able to build a tower? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. This is awesome. Okay. We get to that one. Ooh, it's got like a weird wire next to it. I feel like I should have approached it from the whole other side, right? I think so too. Um, let's um let's see if we can get there though. Come on, brother, come on, brother, come on, brother, come on, brother. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Do we SD here? Sha. You can toss while gliding, I think. <laughs> now it glows. Cute. That was uh, actually very fun. Uh, let me get this back to you. I'm so glad they had something like that in this final level. Make you feel like your investment into having a super bubble is worth it, you know? What do I think Konami's uh, revival is? It's uh, Silent Hill. Why are we pretending? Cool. Why are we pretending it's not? Okay, so that was sweet. Let's get animals back to the zoo. That might be actually be, and, yep, blow up those balloons. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa. Anything to do in the tower. The tower was actually pretty empty. Wasn't much going on with the tower. Um, but yeah, I also believe in the dumb um, Metal Gear Solid collection that includes twin, twin snakes instead of Metal Gear Solid 1. Maybe both. Maybe both. Just include both. Just, just include both. But do not do twin snakes and not the PS1 version. Unless you're just, unless you're totally comfortable with me never desiring to own that object. <laughs> Maybe you are. 
but I like truly despise twin snakes. For the first time in like a year, you have some true art to send in. You think I might ban you though. I'll probably ban you. <laughs> if you think I might, the ban is coming. We hope it's worth it. Sometimes, you know what I mean? Like somebody's just presenting art knowing they have a ban coming and that was, you know, they knew. That was the risk I was willing to take. We've not found the snake. I actually don't know where that is. Where's that snake? Some people take a sacrifice for their art, for their expression. You have zero faith in Konami? Yeah, I mean, uh, what's crazy is tomorrow we're going to be playing the Ninja Turtles Kawabunga collection that exists because of Konami. Well, it's funny. I wonder how much is Digital Eclipse like doing all of the, just like, just sign here. Just sign here and we'll take care of everything, you know? And how much of it is Konami being cool? It's hard to guess. But I think Konami's actually been pretty cool with re-releases over the last few years. We're going over time. We're going to beat this game. We're too close. We're, we can sniff it from here. We're in OT, baby. The Castlevania Advance Collection exists. Exactly, man. I played Symphony of the Night for the first time because they like re-released it on a cool um, package. Uh, another question I have is, did we pick up the cluster from lighting all the candles. I don't know if we did yet. And I wonder where that would be. Let's buy our final bubble. No Symphony of the Night on PC, really. So that's why chat hates Konami? You planning on jumping into some non-brawlers for a little bit? Curious to see how long before you rage quit on the original NES game. Um, I'm going to do Turtles 3. Brewer Master. Master Brewer. Um, on NES is my first priority. That's going to be the first choice. I think the second one is going to be a Game Boy the Metroidvania Game Boy one. Turtles 3 Game Boy. What happened to the elephant crew? And then I was thinking, um... Maybe NES. There they are. Coming elephant crew. We got you, we got you. PS5 is what I got. This looks like such a Kyle game. It super is. It's crazy. It's crazy how much I've been digging this game today. Snakes in the casino area. Okay, cool. We haven't been back there in a while. I'll check. I'll check for it. <laughs> You're right. I just love this game. in that secret room again. A new time splitter is still happening. They're just in development. There, yeah, great memory, bro. Hell yeah. Okay, so I think there's only one more animal for a zoo. This one.
You know what I like is that it's actually a separate portrait. All right, so we got to find that animal, and then we got to find the bolt for the giant crossbow. It's called a ballista. I don't know what I don't know what a giant crossbow is called. You have me there, chat. Mm, not here. Not here. It's not here. Tricky level, dude. It's the last level. It's meant to be. Yep. Yep, it is. Okay. Ah. Uh... We fired the cannon. We fired the catapult. Did you see the One Piece Tamagotchi collaboration watch? I did not. I'll click on it, but I don't like, um branded Tamagotchis normally because they don't fully embrace the spirit of Digivolution. This included. Well, okay, I do like that they're basically, they're Tamagotchi creatures dressed like One Piece characters. That's nice. That element is pretty nice. So I guess they probably do Digivolve. Mm, I don't know, dude. Yeah, I don't know either. It's really nice to see Jinbei embraced as part of the crew. Low Razor's got no ya? I missed this. Can I get an Oya for being accepted into grad school this week? Oh yeah, that's a huge one. Oh yeah. huge okay uh the search continues we're looking for a giant arrow and an animal this is where we got one of the animals that's right that's right that's right that's right Bolt is top section of the play tower. Really? Okay. We're going in. What sucks is the animal we've definitely seen before, right? But I just didn't have enough pinks at the time to lift it. You just forget about it. Uh oh. You said the tower is empty, I know. It better be. You stupid bolt. Look at it right there, glowing. You stupid bolt. So close, actually, too. You lied to me. Yeah, I did. Didn't know. <laughs> Let's do it from this side then. Cute. And my prize, please. Are you handing me? Miniature home. I don't know about that treasure, dude. Okay. And the final animal is... Great memory on the tower as well, that was huge. Huh. 
animal? Animal. Maybe they can give me a hint. Let's go and talk to them. Maybe they'll give me a hint over here. Nope, no hint. Retrieve the zoo animals. Okay. Some blue tinykin on the racetrack. Did I get the gator yet? No. Where was that gator? You're right. We saw that gator forever ago. Or wait, do we have the gator? Let's see if we got the gator. No, we need that gator. Where was that gator? I remember seeing the gator too. Gator's on the ground level. Okay, okay, okay. We'll retrace our steps. Yeah, gator's like the first thing we saw and there was just no way we had enough pinks. No, 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 no. There's that gator. Yes, that maze we did. We did that forever ago, brother. Stupid gator. Okay, uh, it looks like we might have some pathing to take care of. Good shit, chat. Incredible shit. Another textbook sample of clutch chat. A little faster. <laughs> so, uh, we have everything but this gator. We're going to get a prize for the gator. I'm wondering about the, the remaining clusters. 81 is not going to be our prize for turning in this gator. So there's probably just a bunch of morsels out there somewhere. We'll see. Cool top. I remember. I remember Thundercats. Yes. 81 clusters hiding somewhere in this level? You didn't find all the pollen in this one. Where could it be hiding, dude? That's a troubling mystery. Eighty-one sounds like a whole area is worth exactly, right? You don't just happen upon a cluster of eighty-one. You don't just trip on it. We might have to ignore it. We might have to progress without that last cluster. Fiddle with the blinds? Hey, it worked last time. We could also um, destroy the spaceship. 
What do you think about destroying the spaceship, chat? Alright, looks like there's no blind fiddling. Yeah, if you destroy the spaceship, you get 81 pollen. We got all the matches. Yep, we got a trophy for it and everything. Oh, but I don't think I picked up the cluster that that left behind, actually. I don't think I picked up the prize for uh, getting all of the pollen. Or sorry, the, the lights. I don't know where it dropped it off. I think it's somewhere in the central plaza. I haven't tried dabbing yet. We can't rule that out. Do you know why I think the spaceship doesn't fall is because there was these three eggs on it. So it's like it couldn't fall. This thing's planted firmly. All right, uh, let's um, let's try to get that candle cluster, right? Sorry, this area just seems like it's got some warm light to it. This seems like the spot. Not it. Okay. Well, that was warm lighting. of the castle okay yeah that's the thing is missing 81 you gotta think that there's like one there's one little beeb you know there's definitely one little beeb out there somewhere You know what? I'm really appreciating the lighting now that we're just scouring the environment. Okay. Um. One thing I, I want to get checked down here for the uh, cluster that appeared when we lit all the lights. There was, you know, a Zelda esque cutscene of like, okay, and you unlocked this. But I don't remember where that was. It does look more like an analog stick than it does a doorknob, actually. I can't say with great confidence that it is a doorknob. Excuse me! I'm going overtime! Mucho came in to yell at me. Cat's got a lot to say. He's got a take for everything. I guess we haven't been on that level of the castle in a while. We've done that dumb maze, but we haven't been in here in a sec. Hey, 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 okay, that's something, that's something, okay. 
huge. What did Mucho have to say about She-Hulk? He didn't care about She-Hulk too much. Um, the last two times the TV has really riled him up. Oh my gosh. Huge secret in here. That should be all the Gaspers too, unless there's a Gasper in the uh, in-between realm. Um. Nope. Got him pretty riled up. He was not liking the shit he was hearing during that movie. And then there was just some dumb cat delivery commercial where he was like mad that there was a huge cat on TV. Furious. Arching his back at some poor TV cat. <laughs> We've been to the top of the tower. The crane, excuse me. My bad. We haven't been on that coat rack, but I don't know. We have been on that, actually. Okay, okay, okay. There's a book to push in? Oh, good eyes, good eyes, good eyes. We'll take them as they come. Let's check downstairs, too. Take them as they come. Of course, a classic, a classic. Of course, a classic. That might be it right there. You might be looking at it, brother. A bunch of books to shove in. We've been doing that since the beginning of this game. I should have gone up and set them down. Oh, we're about to slurp that pole. And just that sweet pollen straight into my gullet. That's a frantic forager, baby. Okay. Now let us finish this level. Let's pick up the analog stick and go home. Great level, great level. There it is. <laughs> you think the bathroom and the science lab are the best? There is no science lab. Oh, you mean the, like, the greenhouse? Yeah, that's pretty good. That level is really cool. Because it does seem kind of small to be a doorknob. Too big for an analog stick, too small for a doorknob. Wait, where'd y'all go? Where'd they go? <laughs> How do you leave? How do you leave? There it is. Uh, 
Okay, so before we progress, whatever is happening down there, I agree. I think we should wrap up in the in-between realm. Step into the machine and travel to the stars. I don't trust you. I simply don't trust you. Oh, well, shoot, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Cool. Another mystery. You happy you got all your jams? Here's to me. Arduin shared with us the knowledge of his people in the architectural domain, and we adapted the design with our ingenuity in order to make this vision a reality. I now only wish his dreams also come true. Man, we're gonna have to meet Arduin. suspected check the globe again and check look at the continents oh oh no south america does not look good there and it looks like we have half of australia i don't know if that's like intentional lore or just a texture The French. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, we just gotta find an, oh, a, a bunch of clusters here, but we have all the, like, objectives. So, there are hidden clusters here in this realm. And we not have not yet gotten to the part where they say we need that giant bow to get off the planet. So, that's still expected. You want me to get on that mask? Let's get on that mask. Okay, it doesn't say anything. I thought that maybe there was a shot that was like it, you know, there's a there was an engraving on that thing. No such luck. So we've been here. Uh, I think we kind of have the downstairs figured out. The last thing I can think of is that maybe there's some cool secret upstairs uh, by that locked door. How many do we need? Many, 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 many. Um, can I get in the cap? I'll try for you, chat.
No cap. Uh, we need... Uh, 124. No, I checked out. I was on that snapping plant. We got a trophy for that. How could there be 124 hiding around here? No, that door does not open. Okay. Okay. If you say so. I do. All right. The books. Always, we gotta always check books now. Cool. This is good for us. This is huge for us. We found a calculator. We found some markers. Big old nasty clust. Hey, what did it mean when the streamer said big old nasty clust? <laughs> Uh, I think he was abbreviating cluster. You know what? I think we shoved in these books already. Alright. Cool. We have not shoved any of those books, though, so there, there's a potential there. I like the idea of behind the award. I was never back there. It's a great idea. Huge. Ow! <laughs> okay. I love grinding. Okay. Okay. Insanely clutch. Really good stuff. And then there's just one 50 bomb left out there somewhere. Or potentially just a lot more. I'm guessing it's one 50 bomb. This jail was really just a jail. I thought there would be some story element here. I guess if you're fully fleshing out a, a world, right? Under the VHS in the water. Huge. Huge. Big timer. Clutch clust chat. See? Oh, they took it away from me. Okay, okay, okay. We have to survive. We have to uh, acquire it and survive the trip. There we go, baby. Ha cha cha cha. Okay, now we can finish the game. Oh, hello, baby. Uh-huh. I'll do it. A little bit. Oh, no! I, f I forgot he can't slide forever.
This is not the room I want to go into. 1990 to 1991. That's the room I want to go into. Can we get a secret lovers for all the clusts? Yeah, we can. Good call. All right, now. I'm really unsure of what's gonna happen when we touch that rope and climb to the top. I don't know what to expect up here. Hello? Tinykin? He was a dad. His daughter loves Zelda. We got a dream catcher and a stone face. I don't recognize anything else. More of that gross soda. Oh, you know, I don't think it's his daughter who loves Zelda. I think that's his wife who loves Zelda. Yeah, there's the daughter. With the dragon. Hey, can you both can you turn this off? <laughs> it's really funny they beat us here. home with a bunch of goo. Tiny can? Hey, hey. Oh, that was an actual ghost. Oh, this is a graveyard. Oh, Gasper. That's cute. Seeing that stuffed animal. It's good shit. That was, it was like a secret you found in a cabinet in like the second level. And now you know why the family would have a good reason to hide such a thing. Ooh, these ancient artifacts. Don't play with things you don't understand. This is so cool. Hey, we can get some tiny can. Gotta catch them all, baby. Ooh, check that out. That's the uh, the heart tank that I was wondering about earlier. That might be our guy, dude. Lucrezia. The best part. Forget Ardwin. You are Ardwin. My house is big enough for everyone. I hate myself. The ocean. Oh no. You fool. I was ready to kill Ardwin. Uh, I think we're going to hit the stereo? My 
favorite song. Who did that? Who goes there? Show yourselves, ruffians. That's hard one. Thanks, Solaria. Really like this art style, by the way. The symbol. You, you're, you're a descendant of the Athens, but I thought I'd wipe them all out. Oh, oh, my Lord Davis, uh, and you're from Aegis. Uh, Aegis, that sounds familiar. Ah, uh, but of course it was one of the worlds we'd prepared in case of a critical threat. So they had enough time. <laughs> they had enough time to escape. And now you are here, my Day, with your billions of compatriots. I'm so happy and so relieved. I it's just so it's just me. Wait, you, you must have thousands of years of technological advancement. Your suit. Show it to me. Maybe all that my machine is missing is quickly, Maladay. I absolutely must meet this read me. I'm no god, but I think I feel a miracle coming on. Oh boy. Hello, Chirac, Tosono, Figaro, Vito, Tuvivo, 
Peter to Tato Play. My young friend, I'm afraid the legends about me might be quite exaggerated. I'm very lucky the blueprint ended up with you. All your inventions, such genius. We won't have to go far to find what we need. Myladane, open your hand. That bone is <laughs> one from little Nebus, isn't it? It was hiding in our uh, idol animation this whole time. Just a toy now, but which contains more energy than we needed to light up a capital city back in my day. Maladane, for thousands of years I hoped to bring humanity back. I never believed that humanity could bring me back. If I remember, there's enough space for two in the machine. Would you accept me as your co-pilot? If they give me the option, I'm gonna say no. laying pipe right there. <laughs> Splash team, dude. What a game! They've got plans. They've got plans. That was awesome. I don't miss, or sorry, I don't um hate exposition dumps if it's all uh, new shit that you didn't expect to happen. You know what I mean? That was all kind of wild. Sequel's coming, a whole franchise is coming. That was such a good game. That is such a good game, no doubt. What a team. <laughs> they, they paid so much money for those cinematics and then had a circle button to skip the whole time. One of the great one-nighter streams? Yeah. I feel, um... You can tell I, I've, I've, uh, a little, I'm a little gassed at this point. You know, I'm a little past my maximum energy level. <laughs> but, um, gosh, I freaking love this game so much. I'm glad we stuck through it and see the end. What was my favorite part about this game? Um... Uh, 3D level design. It's such a hard thing to get right. 
3D level design is so hard and they created such like an engaging fun world to platform up through traversing is so fun and so like it'd be less fun if you couldn't just hold r1 to skateboard everywhere you know what i mean it'd be less fun if you didn't have a glide i love gliding in video games so um for sure i think traversal like the the simple like mechanics of controlling your character are so solid from the start like you know the, the tiny kin themselves the the whole pikmin aspect to me is secondary this game would be fun without them even they're, they're a super nice hook but uh the whole world design is just incredible can you check if it has a post credit scene yeah you're checking with me <laughs> we're gonna find out together Your favorite part was the uh, chat doing the cipher? Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, let me see what I got. Th this is how stupid my notes look from that. This was the cipher. It's tricky because so many of those letters were just other letters. What trophies are we missing? 98%, what are we missing? Avoid drowning in extremis. What's that mean? Fall in water and survive. Okay, 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 okay. We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. Easy. Yeah, that was a, it was a really um popular trophy too. A ton of people have this. What does extremis mean? What does it mean in extremis? In extremis? What does that mean? <laughs> in an extremely difficult situation, okay. Oh my god. You kind of wish the characters were 3D? Honestly, if a sequel does it... I wouldn't mind. Kyle, you're hurting him. Yeah! There it is! <laughs> Very specific timing on that one. Yeah, thank you, We Are Two Face. Appreciate that. Very clutch. Very, very clutch. Ultimate satisfaction. <laughs> what was the rarest trophy? I'm curious as well, actually. Let's find out. Gotta catch them all. 
Yeah, we did okay there. We did okay. And, and there was definitely times where it was just dumb luck that I happened upon. Oh, there was an egg there. All pollen and then friendly ghost. These are, this is a pretty, that's a really good platinum percentage though. Yeah. 7.8 is, that's nice. That means a lot of people are, like, this game came out Tuesday, right? There, a lot of people are just digging into Tinykin. That's a good game. $25 cost of that game. Gotta catch them all is 1.5 completion on Steam. PC players depend tend to be like dumb. So that, that doesn't surprise me. Um, but still, it's not like it's an easy trophy to get. What's the pl the platinum percentage for a no F plat game? It'll be like 98.6. It'll be very, it'll be silly how many uh, platinum percentage there, there are there. <laughs> Steam players also buy games and never play them. I think that's what that is, right? <laughs> you have too many options. You have too many choices on Steam. Yeah, it's crazy. A lot of silvers because there's only one gold. Which was what? Beat the game? I wonder which one was the gold one. Yep, beat the game. <laughs> okay. Is that a doorknob? Or is that an actual, like... Scientific device. Because that thing was the core that actually made the... Th I think I think the, our ship was made out of cute shit, right? It was like, here, here's your scissors. Here's, you know, the, uh, the T-ball. But I feel like, um... I feel like that thing was, like, not cute. I feel like that's the intention of that thing is that's like, oh, that's actual... That's what's running this spaceship. Isn't that what the bone was hovering over? Yeah, so tomorrow, uh, tomorrow is a cool day. We're going to be streaming the Robot Party Fantasy Football Draft. We have 14 teams, which is the high end of a fantasy league. Uh, I'm included. I got the third round pick. That'll start at 5.30 p.m., which is a half hour early than normally on Saturdays. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll just do a half hour of that. So if you don't care about that, tune in at 6 p.m. like normal. We're going to play uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Kawabaga collection. My first priority is Teenage Mutant Tur Ninja Turtles 3 on NES because I don't know about that game. I have very little familiarity with that. And then, yeah, I would like to check out the Game Boy Turtles one. That, that's like a Metroidvania. That sounds appealing. I'd like to check out maybe NES Turtles. That would be fun. But, uh, yeah, like Turtles in Time and the arcade game, I'm, like, very familiar with those. And so they're the ones I'm least curious about. So we'll hop around. Um, Huber stream and Last of Us remake right now? Oh yeah, we should definitely raid that. That's good stuff. That's a good stream. Quick tabletop question. Did you consciously make Yogala start getting evil after ZZ died? Or was that just kind of, did that just kind of happen? You know what? I feel like ZZ was a tether to his morality. Yeah. It's a great question. Can you investigate the eShop page for another dumb superhero game? It has stolen art from lots of games like Avengers. That's why I downloaded it, Cody Kerr. I actually streamed that game. City Superhero 3D Flying Legend Warriors Deluxe Simulator. Yeah, I actually streamed that. It doesn't work. 
it it relies on both analog stick and touchscreen controls. You need to do both at once. So basically, you would need to be holding a Joy-Con and then have it, your screen propped up and move the camera with your finger while you move around the character around the environment with the analog stick. Store page says handheld only. Oh, that's on me. That's on me for missing that. But even handheld, I wasn't able to move the character around. Even then, oh, okay, I get it. Actually, so you would be you would be handheld. You would be moving the character with this, and then moving the camera like that. Okay, all right, all right, that makes sense. Yeah, miserable experience. One of the worst Switch games I've been duped by. Mucho's looking expectantly. Yeah, his his ears are coming back. He's like listening in. <laughs> he's listening for cues. <laughs> That's the one. Headphones off. He knows. He knows when the headphones come off. It's time. Um. So yeah, I'll be streaming 5.30 p.m. tomorrow Uh, doing the draft. If you're not interested, 6 p.m. for Turtles. And then Monday will be more Tony Hawk. Thanks so much for hanging out today, chat. Really appreciate it. Uh, fun, fun game. One of my faves of the year. Incredible game. Truly. Um. Happy to be able to stream that stuff. That was fun because we've had it. I don't remember when you showed me a Tinykin trailer chat. It was a while ago. I feel like it was January last of the beginning of this year, right? When we were doing the docket. And it was like, oh, that seems like a game I would love. I would like. And then obviously that game went above and beyond. Crazy. All right. Uh, okay, chat. I'm going to wave goodbye. We're going to let me set up the raid for Huber. It'll happen after the legacy is preserved. But uh, I don't want to forget about it. Any interest in Splasher now? Honestly, kind of high. I would love to see what else these developers made. So maybe we we'll check that out. Cool. Uh, I'm going to mute myself. Go wave goodbye. Thank you so much, chat. It's been a pleasure. See you soon. It's a robot party. Robot party. It's a robot party. It's a robot party, tie your shoes, it's a robot party, pet the dog, it's a robot party.